we in? Are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Hey. Are we in? We're in. We're, we're back, in. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just adjusting something real quick. Hey, we're back. Yes. It's good to be wow. back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This fancy new clean. setup. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. It looks like a comic book. <laughs> looks uh, awesome. A real honest to God comic book. Heroes and villains. Thank you for joining us once again, or maybe, and very much possibly, the very first time this week's episode of Initiative. Unfortunately, we are down one member mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, Nicole, the player of Jackie, uh, will be back next week, hopefully, if not, yeah. you know, whatever. Just some matters came up. Could not make it. That's okay. I'm still thinking about her. Mm -hmm. Put this to the side. Uh, so for now, it's us three. Uh, my name is Colby, your professor GM for tonight, joined here by my lovely cast members, Corey. Hi, my name is Corey. I play as Elias Crowley. And David. Hi, my name is David, and I play as Adam Mercury. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is the season premiere. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm hype. Of, I'm hype. Of, of our Hell latest yeah. season. I thought I heard something that was weird. Of our latest season yes. of Initiative. If you don't know uh, what Initiative is, it's a tabletop superhero RPG show where three teenagers get together and try to save the world or destroy it, depending on how they roll. Mm -hmm. We did uh, good last season. They're all yeah, alive, so yeah. they rolled decently well, <laughs> yeah. or I just rolled worse. It was very close. Yeah, it, it was very I don't know. Close. We rolled pretty fucking bad last time. <laughs> That's true. Uh, it's been like it's been a, like a month since we recorded uh, Initiative. Um, yeah, I don't know. I actually don't remember. I, I should have looked it up. It's, it doesn't it's matter. I think, it's, I think it's been four weeks. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you check us out on all of our social medias. Mm -hmm. If you look up Keep Tapping at Snow G, you can find all of our stuff. Um, we're on Spotify, Stitcher, um, all that uh, initiative, Keep Tapping X. Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, are in the midst of uh, September. And it's yeah. September yes. on Twitch. So if you're listening or watching live on Twitch, uh, you can subscribe and support us to get new equipment and all fancy stuff uh, for, I think it's three ninety nine. dollars Yeah, it's, it's like a, a buck cheaper to sub if you're not yeah, subbed, I two believe. Two bucks cheaper or something. Something I, like yeah, that. Two ninety nine, dollars something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cheaper to sub to us mm -hmm. for a month there. Uh, or if you have that Amazon Prime account you're not doing anything with, you get a free sub that still supports us if you just hit on the it's subscribe great. button and you'll be like but you don't want to spend money you'll see an option to be like your amazon <laughs> prime boom there you go yep and you can subscribe to us yeah because we have audio equipment to upgrade that's right visual stuff and all that <laughs> so um, an art to commission and yeah there's, 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 a, there's a list there's a lot of work we have a laundry list of things we need uh and you can so help. if it is your first time and you're like oh man i'm worried i didn't watch season one Mm -hmm. It's a new season. What the hell does that mean? Uh, I have a nice little recap of just the super important events, and I have this whole thing I wrote, so I'm going to read it so everyone shut up. <laughs> All right. Lay it on me. What is a hero to you? A person with indomitable strength, an impenetrable will to carry out their ideals, a voice that reaches out to the masses, quelling doubt and stirring action. Heroes are made by their tales, and leave the labeling to the spectators. This here is the tale of three high schoolers trying their best to realize their own paths to heroism. If it's your first time listening in, welcome to Initiative. There, uh, there are some story elements you may have missed from our previous season, but we'll catch you up on the important bits right now. And we'll also be trying our best in reintroducing characters and making sure to explain past events during the course of the show. Don't be frustrated. Live in the moment, and there's plenty of time. For now, though, here's the story so far. Elias Crowley, Adam Mercury, and Jackie Galaxy. Three teenagers living in Brooklyn, New York City, who have gone through plenty of adventures in the past year alone. Fighting vampiric cults, a corporation led by maniacal genius CEOs, and even a super-powered punk metal band. Their latest journey, however, would change the world as they know it. Yeah, you look like you have to say something. Not okay. The influence of a creature outside of our dimension, simply deemed the Dark Entity, had plummeted the Earth into a state of disarray. There wasn't much time before he would escape his realm and collapse his reality onto our own, all to sedate his need to render all to nothingness. Elias, Adam, and Jackie, with the help of many allies, traveled to the creature's dimension, known as the Converging Expanse. While there, they meet old enemies and familiar friends, 
eventually facing the Dark Entity's five most powerful minions, even converting one to their side, before combating the force of nature itself. During the conflict, the two realms would begin merging, causing pieces of the converging expanse to bleed onto Earth. Fortunately, our heroes were able to persevere and defeat the Dark Entity before the merging was complete. Peace had been restored. The denizens of New York have now undergone a traumatic experience, and the existence of superpowered individuals has gone public. Yet, something stirs in the universe. Five months has passed since the event known as the Material Parallax, or Parallax, occurred. Where are our heroes now? Let's begin this newest season of Initiative. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. uh, just so everyone's aware, we did uh, level up, kind of, between seasons. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, we got some power points, and we have some awesome new abilities mm -hmm. that we'll show off some at some point. When it's appropriate. Yeah. There we go. There it is. Oh, that pre-scene noise. <laughs> We hear explosions, cars crashing, and we appear to a orange skied New York City, a pillar, an obelisk of black energy in the distance, pulsating. We see far in the distance, in central part, this giant entity being shrunken down figures flying about people panicking in the streets and in one of these panicked ran seemingly random new york streets we see an individual uh, with a jovial attitude strutting through the middle of the street as these creatures are moving around him these monstrous amalgamations of flesh chasing after uh, random citizens in a panic this figure just walked in and we hear tools along his belt jostling um, we see uh, a small hammer various other different sized hammers an intricate saw on his side and all of these other tools on his belt and we only can see about waist level as he, he moves through. And uh, he stops uh, as chaos is happening around him. And we see him not move, but everything around him move. We're in a different place in New York. Another place, another place. We keep moving through space and time as we see this individual <laughs> shifting through. Um, we see the battle that happened uh, between the dark entity happening at different stages until he appears in one patch of land uh, we can't really discern where he is uh, in the city and he says oh, yes this will work and before him this hole opens in the soil uh, ripping through concrete and the, the tar covered streets creating this perfectly symmetrical hole that digs deep down into darkness. He raises his hand, uh, and we see uh, materialize a jewel, this jagged, uh, spiraling rainbow-colored jewel the size of a person's head, just <laughs> and starts spinning. He takes out his saw and cuts a chunk of it off, fiddles around with it in his hand. Mm throws it in the hole and as he turns the hole reforms and we see the street return to normal and on top rubbles of buildings that were once there till we meet again my sweet and we fade to black what? Who is he talking to? Yeah, Neo, that's a damn Chaos Emerald right there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. <laughs> it was the Dark Entity's engagement ring. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that rock. Wow. <laughs> so, it's been five months since our, our adventure. 
we have some catching up to do. Yeah. Generally. How did New York handle all of that bullshit? So <laughs> our camera pans down and we see um, it is July 5th, 2021. It's a Monday. As we, we move through, um, we see there's lots of construction going on through random streets as we pan down. People are moving relatively normal. You know, it's, it's the hustle and bustle of New York. Um, the apocalypse is a strange endeavor, but... You know, it's just a level above like the weirdest thing New York has ever seen. Just mm-hmm. this one level, you know. I was so, just yeah, thinking the coping. Fourth of July party must have been insane in New York City <laughs> after they thought they were all gonna die in January. <laughs> the, the the event known as the Material Parallax uh, laid a heavy toll on the infrastructure of New York. Um, we see streets in constant r- repair. Um, we see one skyscraper in the distance that was completely toppled. Um, the business of repairing windows skyrocketed. You made mm. a killing uh, in government subsidies if you were working uh, <laughs> as, a, as a window repair individual. And um, other, otherwise, though, people are, are, are moving. There's a lot of hustle and bustle about a lot of what happened. But five months later, it's just become another event. Mm. Uh, we see... Um, moving away from Manhattan we move towards the uh, Brooklyn and we go to uh, North Central High School we see uh, kids are being let out classes ended as we move through the double doors of the large brick building uh, we see an office as we pan through the the faculty offices and we see one of uh, Mrs. Daphne the student counselor and we move in through the door as it opens for the camera. We see Miss Daphne sitting in a uh, seemingly comfortable chair. And in front of him is an individual. Uh, Adam. Mm. Uh, what do you look like? Describe yourself. Uh, as if no one has seen the show before. Yep. Yeah. Uh, about 5 foot 10. Uh, light brown hair. Usually like uh, windswept back. Um, a a very gaudy silver bracelet on a, on one of his wrists, um, kind of like a, a slim mm-hmm. a slim individual, um, but like athletic, like he's he's a track star you know, mm-hmm. in in school. Um, kind kind of just like an everyday kid, you know, just like a just a slim, normal looking. You wouldn't really like, you wouldn't suspect much from. From Adam, mm-hmm. um, how how is he sitting in this chair right now? Is he alert? You know, how is he? He is to frame the the scene. Yeah, he, he is being kept here. Yeah, at the moment, you know, asked to come. Um, a little bit uncomfortable mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> being being forced into this uh mm-hmm. therapy, pretty much. Yeah, um, I'm like sitting forward a little, like. Mm-hmm. Fidgeting, like. Yeah, Mrs. Daphne is a, an older woman. She has uh, very short black hair. You can see a lot of the, the crevices in her um, in her skin just from age mm. and you know, these spots along her hands and whatnot. She's a nice woman, though. Um, yeah. you, you know, you, the two of you, you know her throughout the school. And, um, and as we, we see on the left side, the camera over her left shoulder, as we pan to the right, we see Elias in the same exact spot as... Um, Adam, and uh, what what do we see? Um, Elias is a kind of lanky five nine punk rocker kid. Mm-hmm. He's got like purple, overgrown what used to be spiky. It's now messy kind of hair, totally unbrushed and just mm-hmm. dirty and greasy looking. Um, he wears a leather jacket with a bunch of random patches and pins and things stuck into the collar and mm-hmm. paint on the shoulder and big goofy chain yep. <laughs> necklace and like a dirty old motorhead shirt with holes and cigarette burn holes in it. Mm-hmm. And how uh, How is he sitting in his chair? Ah, as I knock over the table. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not like anybody would sit in a chair. He's like slumped and hanging on it, sure, and chewing see. gum loudly yeah. and not interested. And <laughs> so, um, absolute punk ass. As as she speaks, we we as the audience 
start to understand that the way that this this conversation is going to play out is happening over the months mm -hmm. over a long set of time leading up to where we are now yeah so as we move maybe we see each time the camera pans left or right behind her head we see them sitting a little different looking a little different mm -hmm. um, different clothes yeah diff exactly different clothing mm -hmm. different outfits as they move through um first one uh that we pan over we see adam we hear uh so adam uh, i hope you're doing well uh, welcome back uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's good to good to be back in school, you know. As you know, I hope it isn't uh, intrusive, but we do have to perform these uh, these counseling sessions for a few select individuals who had uh, a particularly close proximity to the event. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get uh, it. So um, please, um, you know, uh, and she has uh, this notebook out. Um, and she has her phone on the desk uh -huh. uh, beside her. She's not at her behind her desk. She's sitting in front of it, trying yep. to have this sort of more personable yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. approach, but the phone is on and it's recording. Yeah. And she says, um, so um, what happened to you after the winter dance? Uh, what do you remember immediately after? Oh, that, that's kind of a loaded question. Uh, of course, please, you know, the most comfortable answer you feel like giving at the moment. I remember panic. Um, a lot of people running around screaming, looking for people. Mm -hmm. um, and at some point, after meeting up with a with a, a Misty's father, um, mm -hmm. yes, detective, yes. Um, I kind of just remember blacking out. You know, and I had a really weird mm -hmm. dream. Mm -hmm. She starts writing. I had, I had a weird dream that I was like on another planet. I oh. might, might might be thinking too much about what a was this science planet? class. What was this planet like? Oh, well, it had a different colored sky and a really weird vegetation. Some people mm -hmm. that like weren't really people, they were like just kind of things like eyeballs on stalks, you know? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was really weird. As Adam's describing this, we have these uh, flashbacks, these sort of, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sepia-toned like, yeah, yeah, yeah. images of, of season one. <laughs> where Plainly we see, obvious flashbacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, where we see the conversion expands this other realm mm -hmm. of oddities and creatures, mm -hmm. um, the people you met in your, your adventures there. Yeah. Um, like there were vampires and, and that, samurai. And yeah, yeah. Just, it was it was crazy. It was a crazy dream. Mm -hmm. It was like, and that one eyeball, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we, we pan back to around and in the chair sits Elias. Mm -hmm. Same question she poses. He says, what do you remember, Elias? Well, I remember a big monster thing that let out zombies into the city. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I would call that good. Well, it's just good, you know, you, your, your memory is... You, know, you still have an imagination. Yeah, I have a, an imagination. Yeah. Um, Anything else right after the, the dance? After the dance. Um, you I were you were gone for quite a number of weeks. I was. I remember being trapped in a maze. Mm -hmm. There was a library that never ended. Mm. Um, I remember a a gate and a dig a doorway like a a, a mausoleum. Okay. That, like, a mausoleum. Interesting. We, yeah, and like we couldn't open it. Oh, who's we? Uh, me and my girlfriend and mm -hmm. my uh, friends, mm -hmm. and we were just trying to get in because. Do you remember the name of any of these friends? Maybe I do. She looks at you curiously. Wait, why should I tell you anyway? What are you going to do with those names? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I just simply want to know uh, your experiences to better understand what you might have gone through in that time. Yeah, but who are you going to tell? Well, it, nobody unless it seems like a threat of some kind to somebody's health, but I, I doubt it's going to go that far. And then where does it go from there? Well, uh... Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, let's. Have you been adjusting well after uh, being gone for so long? I, I know you had to take some extra courses in school to make up for the roughly half a month that you were away. Yeah, my mom was really happy about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 
Have you and your mother been getting along well since? Oh yeah, because I've been spending a lot of extra time in school. She loves it. Mm, she I thinks, see. She thinks it's great. But what, what do you think, though? I think it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yes, well, I am aware of your uh, attitude towards education. And we pan around. Same question to you, Adam. Yeah. Adjusting well? Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to be back. I mean, as as crazy and, and kind of fun as that dream was, it's it's nice to be back in the in reality um, without a crazy black pillar in the middle of the city. Yes, um, that is. You know, uh, it was a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, yeah, and you know, um, I'm just glad people aren't getting hurt anymore. And you know, mm -hmm. I don't mind being back in school and focus on science and stuff. So it's, it's yeah, fun. what what are you focusing on as of late? Any new hobbies? Anything like that? I, I mean, I'm just I'm getting back into astrology. You know, I'm just. Mm. You know, just um, I I I enjoyed my studies when I actually could be in school. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I think I'm refocusing. It's a good word. I for see. It. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, another time, <laughs> pass. Uh, Adam, how has your family been treating you lately? Uh, oh, I, with I, after I, the event, have they been? Have you been treated any? differently by by them uh no actually not at all um oh. they, they seem to just be happy that it's all over that's it. we're all happy that it's over certainly yeah. you know my, my mom and dad are very uh stoic <laughs> <laughs> so, so they probably wouldn't wouldn't let me know either way <laughs> got it <laughs> sorry uh, yeah we move over <sighs> same question well my mom never lets me out of her sight anymore. Mm, that must oh. be very difficult. Yeah, she she completely changed her schedule. She used to work nights. Now, I don't know when the hell she works. I think she works when I'm at school now. Oh, she, so she changed her schedule for She you. changed her schedule completely. She's always around now. I see. It's kind of annoying. It must be very she, stressful. Uh, she just, she calls me all the time now. Like, I, you, I can't you go. You hear a, in like, the room of... Yeah, I'm like, see? <laughs> Look oh, at that. That's that, mom. Yeah, that says mom. <laughs> she knows heart. where I am, but she doesn't think I'm here. She thinks I'm like fighting vampires in fucking Florida. Oh, oh can I say fuck? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> she's she's more caught up on the fact you said Florida. Yeah. <laughs> vampires in Florida. She's like, it, it, you can be as open as you want here, uh, Elias. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Fucking Florida. <laughs> She writes, you don't like to make out fucking Florida. <laughs> um, the, uh, we pan back, uh, to Adam. What about your friends? Have you been, uh, as close to them as you once were in your absence? Yeah, yeah, um. If anything, maybe closer. I'm just, I'm a little worried about Misty, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's, it's quite unfortunate, and, and I'm sure Detective Miguel is doing all he can to find her. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just you know, me and her were kind of close. Mm. You know, so stay up. You went to the dance together. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, been losing a little sleep over that, but. I mean, with all my other friends, we've been just as close, if not closer. Mm. Well, keep up hope. Yeah, I sure will. Mm. Pam back. Ah, oh, you said you had a girlfriend. How's that going, Elias? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Um, it's steady, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just rare. Is she a student here? No, no. Actually, I don't know where she went to school. We have a, a flashback of V. Um, popular punk punk rock leader of the uh, gang known as the Veins. We see her with her half-shaved head, uh, sleeve fringe black hair, and uh, dyed streaks, punk attire, you know, like torn leggings, and you know, uh, or, or in, actually most of her cases, torn jeans and tucked into boots and everything. And we see flashbacks of the very first episode of season one where she's trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> 
and going through times of you becoming friends, <laughs> fighting people in alleyways and whatnot, and then back. Yeah, we fight sometimes, <laughs> but it, it, we always get over it. Things have been pretty steady for good, good. since I think the whole you know giant monster attacks New York thing kind of really puts things into perspective about what matters. I see. That's very good. Yeah, plus she's got like kid oh oh i see well you know teenage pregnancies are you know becoming more common and yeah and but i mean like it's it's not it's hers but it's not hers she kind of adopted them I'm, but i mean the, well, the I, kid's cool they just, just uh, they've, they've come around they've come around i didn't really like him at first the kid was the kid was tough man the kid like <laughs> was it wicked deceiving you know, like really sneaky. We, like. we have a, another flashback <laughs> of Camvo, another uh, veteran character, young, maybe 12, 13 years old, big hat on this uh, ethnicity is a little tough to tell, maybe Korean, somewhere in that, that general area, um, pale and just skinny. They're just very thin. And we have a, a flashback of shaking hands with all of you. Yes. <laughs> and they inevitably through their own powers fought you using your powers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we come back yeah. tough you say it, clever mm. I see but ended up being cool huh. and we pan uh, to the middle and we move up to see the two separate instances of you two and um or well, rather, in this case, you two are together in the same room during the same session. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, thank you both for talking to me today. I uh, just wanted to wrap up a few more details. I think counseling, um, has, this is your last session. I think, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's been a while. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. It's been quite a few months. Five months if I had to, you know, schedule it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, what, what do you want to know today? Oh, well, uh, it's towards the end of the session. Mm. She says, she says um, well, um, you know, I, I think I'm finished with my own uh, dissertations here, and I think uh, there is some, another individual who wanted to speak with you. Um, uh, and she goes up to the door, and she peeks her head out, mutters a few words, and um, behind her, someone uh, walks in. Uh, the air of the room immediately changes to a more stern kind of serious demeanor this individual is straight uh, just, uh, shoulders up back um, they uh, they w have a deep red colored hair that's slicked back they wear a uh, brown sort of dress coat mm -hmm. um, over with this plaid undershirt and uh, a tie over it um, kind of Dweeby, but the way his face is, the way his posture is, um, he's a, uh, a bit taller than you guys, um, commands this respect about him. And uh, you see a uh, studded earring on one on one ear, uh, and uh, light facial hair on the his complexion. Mm -hmm. And uh, he his hands are behind his back, and he says, "Gentlemen." Good to see you. My name is Francis Calloway. And I'm here to ask a simple question for you, as I have done with the other members of these forced consultations. Uh, sure. You may leave now, Mrs. Daphne. Uh, of course. She backs out. Let me know if you need anything. Shuts the door. He doesn't sit down. He stands in front of the desk and clasps his hands in front of him. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you a simple question, and I expect an honest response, and we can all go home happy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure thing, Frankie. Mr. Calloway will suffice. Mr. Crowley. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> What happened to you after the events of the winter dance? Where were you for those weeks? Did we already kind of? Yeah, we, we just spent like five months telling everybody that. Hmm. Yes. 
A web of chaotic lies. Huh? I know more than you think, and I surely know more than Mrs. Daphne. Like what? That's a need-to-know basis, Mr. Crowley. Now- I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know about me? I yeah. will decide what you need to know. Well, so will we about what you need to know. I see you will not answer my question. We did. We we spent months answering your questions. We know you were feeding her the questions. Let's see you. Back. Just generally looking over both of you. Then I'm afraid I wasted a trip here. In case you want to talk. And he reaches into his pocket and do a wallet. Pulls out two cards. And you see... Um, Francis Calloway, uh, simply says U.S. military personnel and has a phone number One on One of those it. guys, huh? Alright. Calloway card. <laughs> no. I will be taking my leave if you do not mind. No, I don't mind. Just, uh, Try to go easy on Cedric, it's a little shaken up. Yeah. Wow. No. Oh. Your friend Cedric was a difficult one to question. Yeah, that's kind of what like, I mean. Shakes a sort of look of disgust <laughs> for a moment. Uh -huh. And then turns and walks out. I don't like that guy. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. Miss Daphne comes in and says, Okay, uh, yeah, you two are free. Sorry for keeping you for so long. No, no. Um, great. <laughs> so we can leave now? Yes. Have awesome. a good day, gentlemen. Yeah, you too. You too. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is a bright, very warm, kind of muddy day. Uh -huh. In Brooklyn, New York, you are at North Central High School. Yep. Two of you exit Ms. Daphne's room mm -hmm. and walk in front of the stool. We see uh, a few steps leading down into the front open way. Buses are just leaving. Yeah. Well, and we missed the bus. Yeah. Uh, do you think the U.S. military would give us a ride home? <laughs> I, I don't like look around to find like a like a black SUV. Make a perception room. <laughs> First roll of the season, and it's a perception. 14. Wow. That's not bad for me. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, you're looking for like a black van? Yeah, like, yeah, like, van. like, you, a, gov like a government SUV. Sure, somewhere. you peer around and you know you hear um, lots of, of uh, students around you talking. Mm -hmm. Some of the parents haven't picked them up yet. Some of the bu their particular buses haven't left. Mm -hmm. And um, you, you look around as buses are pulling up, and uh, you see no black van. Huh. Um, you do see uh, Francis Calloway oh. uh, exiting in a sort of black sedan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the door being opened for him. And then as he enters in. And, uh, oh, I don't have my dice. Oh. Are uh -huh. they over at one of these three? <laughs> uh, check. Are any of them? Uh, these are like blue and pink. Yeah, that's all. Okay. It's awesome. Thank you. Yep. Must have sounded awesome on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. Okay. Uh, he is going to... Oh, with an 18. Uh, he sees you looking mm -hmm. at him mm -hmm. as he sits down in the car before the, the door shuts yeah. and he just locks eyes with you. Yeah. Hey, you want to do something really stupid? Like what? Like, where do you think that guy came from? Who do you think he works for? His car just says government. <laughs> <laughs> You think he, he's like part of a company or something? Yeah, his license plate is Gov. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's part of the Matrix. <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like Agent Smith. Like, <laughs> um, I was thinking maybe. Follow him. And do what? I don't know. I'm just kind of bored. It's been like five months since we had any excitement. I know, but like... I mean, we probably shouldn't. But what if we do? I don't want him snooping around in our lives any more than you do, but, uh, like, yeah. that's... Just try to keep a low profile now. Yeah, I guess. We don't have to do what we used to do anymore. I know we don't have to, but we we did so much good. 
Yeah, but we also owe a intergalactic corporation a fuck ton of money now. Yeah. And yeah. uh, technically, oh yeah, that's right. Your aren't they? debt is wiped with the Umbra oh. Collective. Oh. Oh. We don't owe millions of dollars anymore. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, they still know who we are. Yeah. Do you think that guy knows who we are? He was like, I know more than you know. Do you think he knows, like, our powers? He must. He, he's got to know. He's got to know a lot. Yeah. I mean, like, Savannah had to deal with the cops, right? To, like, keep them out of her business. Oh, that's true. I'm sure I completely he, forgot about that. He has to know what she was doing. Yeah. He's got to know that we were involved with her. You didn't tell Daphne about anything with Savannah, did you? No. What did you tell her? I just told her after everyone was panicking, I had a weird dream where I fought vampires and samurais. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? What? That's what I said, too. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? That's Are you telling I... me that our, our stories about intergalactic travel happened to match up? <laughs> Is that, is that what you're telling me? Did you tell her the part about the... the Speed up. The, did you tell her about the part with the mausoleum? No. Okay. I mention mausoleum. All right, cool. Did you say Florida? No. Oh, okay. I, I said there were a lot of eye stalk men, uh, vampires, and samurais. That's I said I vampires too, but I said Florida. Okay. Well, at least I didn't say Florida. I mean, yeah, but I'm sure she's like connecting the dots right now in her office going, you what know... What if Jackie said Florida? Shit, she probably said Florida. What if what if Cedric or Xavier said Florida? Dude, I think everybody said Florida. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, I wouldn't it's, doubt it's it. I wouldn't doubt it if everybody said Florida. Yeah, yeah. And vampires. Yeah. It's kind of like easy to, to just well, Crazy uh, Dream vampires. Maybe they just think we're high or something. They were crazy high schoolers. And now they're gonna probably go after me and think that I'm the one getting everybody high okay, okay, and hallucinating well, okay, uh, vampires. Okay, okay. We won't follow uh, Mr. C over there, but um, yeah, I, I guess we just we just stay low. Remember when everyone saw us when we came out of Florida and everyone yeah. like knew? Oh, dude, yeah, when you powers. when you say that, mm -hmm. um, you hear uh, a group of kids um, like sort of in this circle, uh, a few feet away from you, and say. Ron, are you watching that video again? You're like obsessed with that freaking thing. Yeah, but it's it's just the coolest look 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 again. Like, ah, oh, gee, dude, that's like months old news. Forget about it. Um, and uh, you hear uh, a familiar voice of Adam. <laughs> We're heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yelling out to a panicked crowd. Yep. Um, and we see as an audience. Uh, this video as it plays uh, all footage we see a lot of scattered footage of the battle that happened in, in the finale of last season um, all of it in some strange unnatural miraculous way mm -hmm. you cannot make out the finer details of the individuals in it and not so and, and, and it's not also just uncanny almost deliberate huh. how these images are so blurred like you have a lot of conspiracy theorists out there talking about these oh these these individuals going around and, and why is all the footage blurred why is all the footage blurred? the government it's the government oh, blurring man. the footage on the internet oh you know, god damn it's like alex that. jones <laughs> yeah happening all that. you know yeah he's like you see joe rogan in interview oh my god, imagine their meltdowns <laughs> if superheroes like emerged <laughs> and uh um, uh, Joe and, Rogan sitting across from you. Have you ever tried DMT? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, none of you have been approached. Yeah. Yeah. And we had all like our masks on the video. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even just uh, your bodies. Yeah, but, like, them. it's strange the amount of random detail that was obscured. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Have we done any superheroing in the past five months? Uh, have you? Well, Elias hasn't. I probably haven't done like superheroing. Maybe I've like kept my speed up. Like, yeah. Run, did did like, Elias and... stop doing vigilante stuff? Just not as much of it. Okay. Definitely, just kind of like caught up with school. Kept mom happy. Kept everybody kind of mm -hmm. off his back. Yeah. It's, it's, there hasn't been any super villains. 
mm -hmm. coming out. Um, so it's up to you whether or not you kept up the activities mm -hmm. to stop crime. Yeah, I mean, I haven't specifically okay. gone out of my way to. Well, the two of you are outside the school. Uh, what are you doing? Have you been, like, like in school? Yeah, dude, I, I can't even skip anymore. I think my mom follows me to school. She doesn't even bring me. She watches me. Like, she drives alongside me while I'm walking to school to make sure I go. That's really weird. I mean, I guess I can't blame her after, like, how many times did we lie to her about, you know, oh, going to different states and planets and yeah. terrestrial planes and... What about your dad? Is he around still? <laughs> like, he showed up to help. But... And then he went back to the moon or wherever. Do you think we'll ever get, like, a like a first-class pass to the moon, like, whenever we want? I think we gotta finish high school first. Oh. I've been trying. I've been studying my ass off, but, like... It's hard to stay focused now with everything that we saw. Yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> normal life is almost too boring after that. That's that's kind of how I feel. That's why I want to follow Mr. C. Yeah, but, but, but like, <laughs> wait, say we follow him. Where's uh -huh. he going to go? He's going to go like he's going to pull into some parking garage and then walk into some facility and then he's going to get lost in the fucking labyrinth of cubicles and we're never going to find him again. Yeah, that's true. Until he decides to pop up on us one more time to yeah. try to threaten us into giving him information or... What if he works for like Spearhead Tech 2? That would suck. Yeah. But uh, I got an idea. What? Did he leave yet? I'm like looking out in like the park. Uh, yeah, he left. <sighs> we should have made it Mercury trace him. Mercury. Uh, you, you speak down to the the gaudy, uh, mercurial silver uh, wristband, mm -hmm. and you hear in your mind, "Yes, Adam." Do you think if I like attach you to some guy's car, you can like <laughs> keep talking? <laughs> Do you think if I attach you to some guy's car, you can like like trace him for me, like follow him, and then I'll come and get you later? If that's what you'd like <laughs> me to do, Adam. Can I do that? How will I find you afterwards? Can he, like, fly? What? Mercury, can you fly? <laughs> you didn't put points in no. that. <laughs> no. No, Adam, I'm <laughs> incapable of flight at the moment. No, Mercury can't fly. Even I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I should know. I'm an expert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, maybe that's not a good idea. Because I won't be able to find him after. You, you need like a like find my Mercury app on your phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a phone. Mercury ate my phone. That's like <laughs> my dog ate my homework. Like, yeah. This is the worst. You haven't bought a new phone. It's been five months, dude. I don't. I mean, I don't really need it. I've been kind of like Mercury's been kind of getting the hang of it. It's kind of weird getting texts from Mercury because they're always in capital letters. Yeah. And they're always like perfect English. Like I feel like I'm getting like a like notification for like an earthquake advisory every time Mercury texts yeah. me. Well, I haven't told him grammar. <laughs> What's weird too grammar. is like whenever Mercury texts my phone, I get a different notification. <laughs> like it doesn't like bing like a text. It's like, <laughs> and then there's like a fucking like zombie siren. Like I, it, it's really bad, dude. Like, well, what if it's a, if it's an emergency? I mean, it has to be. It always feels like, like the world is about to end when Mercury texts me because it's like a tornado warning or something. Like it, it's weird. Dude. I'll tell. You, I'll, you I'll gotta, ask him if he can tone it down. Yeah, he he like hacks my shit every time he messages <laughs> me. Huh. It's like boom tornado advisory. You want to go to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> what it might be an important mall trip. It, nothing could be more important than Florida. You're right. We uh, can't top that, man. I, I mean, I hope we never do. Yeah. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go check on Cedric, make sure he's uh, holding up okay. All right, that's not a bad idea. Um, I got an idea. Hmm. I'm gonna go check in with V and see if she knows anything about this Callaway guy. Oh yeah, she might. I'm She's... sure he's probably scoping the city out. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. For anybody that was involved in all this, no. I doubt they, like, interviewed V. No. No, I she's not nearly as easy to, to get to as we are, I guess. We're yeah. kind of hiding in plain sight here. Yeah, um, yeah. I, that's, I should ask 
Cedric what he told everyone. Yeah, let me know when you find out, because I'm kind of afraid that we all told the same lie. Yeah. All right, yeah, I will do. Okay, I'm going to head to Cedric's. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go find V. Okay. So, uh, Adam, mm -hmm. you would know yeah. uh, by now yeah. that Cedric would not be home right after uh, school. Mm -hmm. He goes to work. Right. And he works at Spearhead, right? No. He lost that job. <laughs> Well, that's right. When Maria tried to kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I guess that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You We're... can't really work for your boss anymore after that. <laughs> uh, Where's he working nowadays? So, he works still in Brooklyn mm -hmm. at a place called Sal's Hardware. Okay. Hmm. He's a sort of clerk mm -hmm. um, over there. <laughs> um, All right. I'll, uh, so, I guess I'll go there? Yeah, you can go there. Okay. Um, are you going there? Or are you conventionally uh, going there? I'm just going normal. Going normal? Going normal. Lame. I know. So you take a, take a bus yep. over. And I hate it. I hate every second of it. I've it, been trying to do this the past few months, like, to stay low. Okay. I hate it. It's tapping your foot as... Uh, it, yeah. I'm just I'm thinking... It's like, the, going through the floor because I'm hitting so fast. I'm thinking of the loading screens in the Spider-Man PlayStation. Yeah. Where <laughs> he's riding the subway, just kind of hanging out. Yeah. So, um, as you uh, get off the bus and step off uh, a few, uh, another block away, um, you see there's a sort of very small, maybe six car parking lot next to uh, Sal's Hardware. It's a small shop, very condensed, it's sandwiched between two larger uh, different shops. One's like a uh, Filipino like restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, and the other one is a music instrument store. Okay. Uh, and you can hear people trying out instruments and they're really bad at it and mm -hmm. see people like playing guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, less, maybe lessons are going on. It's uh -huh. kind of destructive. Um, and you uh, walk through uh, ching -ching into the door. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the hardware store itself is about maybe about four aisles of goods. Yeah. And the, uh, either side is lined with tools and uh, handyman sort of uh, instruments there's a wall of paint different uh, paints that they can mix for you yep. and at the far end is a counter uh, okay and you see uh cedric mm -hmm. uh he's sit he's sitting on a stool leaning uh, against the the desk uh and he just has a ball in the cup <laughs> uh, and you see cedric ball he's in a cup. uh Ginger red hair, mm -hmm. and, uh, pale skin, freckles, uh, lanky, tall, uh, maybe not as tall as you, maybe a little shorter than you, and um, he's wearing this sort of jumpsuit that he's forced to wear. This is Sal's hardware, Cedric on yep. the other line, in like this weird cursive font, and uh, he just looks bored, <laughs> like a mechanic. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, damn, damn it. Damn it. Cedric! Oh, dude. Oh, Adam, thank God you're coming to save me like a real hero from yeah. my boredom. <laughs> yeah. See, he hops over the counter. Does anyone ever come into this place? Uh, I got one customer yesterday. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just... Must be riveting. And you, even... <laughs> <laughs> you hear, you can hear faintly the instruments at the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, do you even know anything about hardware? Yeah, you hit a nail, goes in the wood, you're done. Got it. All right, yeah, it's sold. Uh, I, I, so we we gotta talk. We gotta talk about something. Oh, right, what do you want to buy? I don't want to. I got. I don't know. What, I got screwdriver. Like, I barely I know got... what you need to hammer a nail into wood. I don't need to buy any of this stuff. Well, you gotta buy something, or else my boss is gonna make me look bad. Uh, I'll reach over the shelf and just grab the first thing. Uh, okay, it's uh, <laughs> there's you look over to the nearby shelf, and it's all um, like different like little compartments of different size screws. Mm -hmm. And I like, got, like one screw. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. All right. Runs behind the counter. You follow him. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> Old cash register. Oh my god. Said, That'll be forty-eight dollars. Kidding, dude. It's like six cents. <laughs> I'll roll a wealth check. Okay, roll a wealth check. It's a seven. Add your wealth rank. Two. Right. That's a 
No, my wealth's what, like six? Uh, it started at, I think it, it starts started at eight, eight but mine you lost. Down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, so, so you're, you're yeah. either seven or six. Like 13. Uh, yeah, yeah. 13? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> you give him a dollar. He gives you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So, school counseling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Daphne? Yeah. Yeah, no, not my type. No, no. <laughs> that's not that's not what I'm asking. It's not what I'm asking. Oh, oh yeah, no, of course. Um, did you get? Did some like weird guy come in and ask you like, I like straighten up like the guy. Oh, like, how did you spend your time? Oh after the yeah, pillar? yeah 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 yeah. That that uh, that Francis dude, Ka- uh, Calla, uh, Mr. C. Calla Callahan. Calamari. Callaway. Calla- 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 that's yeah. it. Yeah. Cal- did, yeah. Did yeah, he yeah. talk to you? Yeah, he talked to me the other day. Just, you know, he was just like, you better tell me the truth. And yeah. I said, dude, I told you everything I know. What'd you, what'd you tell them? What did you tell them? I told them that after the pillar showed up here, I got knocked out and had a weird dream that I fought vampires. And samurai. And eyeballs. Yeah. I, I said... Uh-huh. Uh, that I was in a different place for a while, and that I fought shrimp. Okay. Uh, he didn't believe me. Okay. But I told him that I fought shrimp. Yep. And I stuck with that. That is that all you told him? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I may have. And don't be mad at me, you promise? I'll try my best. No, I need a guarantee. <laughs> like the guarantee on our prices being so low. Okay, I, I won't be mad. Mm-hmm. Promise. All right, I said your name. And what else? Did you say I did anything? I said you were there and we were fighting okay. shrimp together. Okay. Did you, did you say Florida? No. Did you say vampires? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did do it though. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Dude. You, okay. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. you're talking to Cedric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got yeah, your yeah. back. I got yeah. all your backs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look, I, I know, and it, it's just it's only because the only reason I ask is because the guy came and talked to me and Elias too, mm-hmm. and we both said vampires. Well, you spilled the beans. No, I said it was a dream. I said it was all a dream. But we all just happened to say the word vampire, and if all of us collaborated, that would have been bad. Yeah, we probably should have talked beforehand about it. Probably, but we didn't, and it's fine. Yeah, but I think we're okay. I, I think maybe we should go talk to Xavier. Oh, well, I haven't heard that name in a bit. Yeah, I know, but he was with us. Uh, make a intellectual six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, he, uh, it's, it's, uh, I mean, sure. Just just to make sure he didn't wasn't like, I was with Cedric and Adam and Elias and... Do you know. have his number? I don't think so. I, 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 dude, he's, he's out of my league. I don't uh, know. I don't have his number. Who would have his number? Jackie, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'll call Jackie and see if she knows. All right. Okay. I'll... I'll uh, are you off shift yet? I just got here, dude. Uh, well, good luck, pal. I'll what? start off. Uh, well, I thought you were here to save me from my board. <laughs> I can't save you from your boss. I was walking up the you door. You hear a crashing cymbal. <laughs> <laughs> door. And you hear a kid getting pulled out of the entrance store. Like, I want the elbow. I want the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like the uh, classic guitar center thing of some kid playing smoke on the water. Yeah. 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 But, uh, you're like, as soon as like, the, the door opens, you hear do 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 do. Oh my god. <laughs> Smoke on the water, sweet child of mine. Fucking stairway to heaven everywhere you go. Uh, but I'll, uh, I will off camera call Jackie. And you can call her now. And she's not here, so I'm just gonna. You can call her now. Okay. Call her in character <laughs> and put it on speaker. There is, there is no answer. Oh. Okay. It, goes a, it goes a voicemail. Okay. Have I. Have we seen her the past few months? Yeah. Okay. Things, you know, things have been. Ultimately, up to when she gets here to decide. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But mm-hmm. she hasn't been pulled away. Okay. Understood. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, I guess I'll just I'll head home and 
look up Xavier on the on like Facebook or something and see if his number is on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, while you do that, mm -hmm. uh, Elias, mm -hmm. so you're going to go visit V? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of a trek. You got to okay. you know, get on the on the T. You got to um, make your way more towards uh, Staten Island. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times have you visited V where she is? Um, a handful of times. Okay. I go there semi-regularly when I can now, I guess. Sure. So, uh, as you make your way down, you notice there is a, uh, as you pass through, um, you pass the junkyard where you initially met V, which was also on Staten Island in Oakwood, and you move past that more uh, uh, southwest, and you make it to uh, this sort of dilapidated neighborhood stop. It's kind of a bad neighborhood here. Windows boarded up, and you have to go quite a few blocks as, as you um, walk, and uh, you make it to where V and crew live, which is uh, what we see first as you walk by this fence and the camera pans down and we see uh, this sort of name hop something crossed out with graffiti and it says elementary school and you we pan up to see you walking towards uh, around I'm sorry <coughs> excuse me around uh, this large old long since foreclosed an abandoned elementary school hmm. has a sort of large central building out flanked by two um, two uh, wider expanses for where classrooms would be and whatnot. Hmm. Uh, the grass is overgrown. Weeds have overtaken this place entirely. Uh, you step through and dandelions just <laughs> puff out. Um, the grass is up to your knees. Uh, no landscaping done to this at all. Most of the windows are um, have bars on them from before, and some of them you can even see... Um, bars have been ripped off and instead boards were put into place or some just open hmm. uh and yeah you make your way around as usual and um you walk around and there's this sort of uh there's two entrances on either side of the building mm -hmm. uh one far in the distance but you reach one it's like a storm cellar and uh you <laughs> and the this rusted door opens up a bit and you just see a, a single eye and you hear password um Glenn Danzig is the superior misfit singer <laughs> uh, opens up uh, to this dusty sort of uh, basement level um, onto there and you, you go in and uh, the basement itself is no difference you see like a boiler mm. and old shelving that used to hold like sports equipment kind of but yeah has long since been abandoned there and you see this sort of ratty looking kid just not really greet you just run back to the corner mm. and uh looks like they're just whittling something with a knife that they have this kid's maybe like nine years old uh dirty uh lawn overall trousers just <laughs> carving something mm. Looks like he's there to watch the 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 door. Yeah, like what you making there, little dude? Make a presence roll. <laughs> Ooh, seventeen. A spear, <laughs> and it's just this plank of wood that's yeah. maybe like not even a foot long. Like, what do you plan on hunting with that spear? Jaguars? Whatever I want. Sewer rats, maybe. Have you ever tasted a rat before? No, I haven't either. Well, with that thing, huh. you might. I think, maybe. Yeah. Looks pretty good so far. Yeah. Keep on that. I like pat him on the shoulder and keep walking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you walk through. Um, there is a staircase that spirals around, leading up. Hmm. Um, as you make your way out. Uh, there's an eerie, strange feeling of being in an abandoned school. Mm. Uh, the walls are littered with graffiti, all different kinds. Some very creative in how they're, they're put. You see these almost like murals of, of people, of places, and a lot of names. Names everywhere. And uh, throughout uh, all of these, these 
these pictures around you, there's always a common thread. It's veins mm. moving between the pictures, sort of like a web around, or rather like vines in a in a jungle. And you move up, and there's the the central level, and the stairs uh, can lead up to the higher levels as well. Um, uh, if you're going right to V, you know that she's on the second floor. Mm. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and uh, there are kids about um, some ranging as young as the nine-year-old, even some even particularly younger, and others who are in their teens, some who are reaching their 20s. Uh, occasionally you might see someone even older uh, come across. Uh, it is a sort of Lost Boys, Peter Pan-esque collection of misfits. Uh, all of these, you, you pass by a classroom. Uh, all the rooms have been renovated. Mm. Just a shitty stained cot thrown against walls. Um, the windows they see are barred. The ones that aren't barred are boarded up. Um, and obviously, if you, if you get too close to a room, people would stare and just give you the the the, de- the death glare, yeah. <laughs> uh, less powerful than your own. I was gonna say, I, I know yeah. that look. <laughs> and um, and you, you walk upstairs and you hear. Um, a uh, something like a generator, mm. and you hear a boom, 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 boom. Mm. I know what's happening here. Um, and you walk up, and you see uh, there's this. Uh, we see a plaque that says "Principal's Office," and the principal has been. <laughs> spray painted on it says V's office <laughs> and you walk inside the normally there's a, a sort of larger room and you would guess there's like a secretary's sort of office in front of it the wall has been collapsed mm. purposefully taken down uh, between and you see uh, uh, a vice and sin the uh, punk metal band that uh, V is the head of um, you see all the members are there uh, you see V, of course. V looking different than we've seen before. Her hair still shaved on the side, but she grew out her the other side of her hair. And we mm-hmm. see this pink uh, streak down uh, down towards the front. Um, she's wearing this long sleeve, sort of black, coming uh, above her fingers, but it's back as she holds a guitar in her hand, an electric guitar. And uh, she's wearing just these... these tall boots everything about her all of her clothes are torn or dirty um you see some dried up blood and of course we see uh there's no makeup on her face but we do see the tattoos uh ranging from uh you don't really know where they start uh but up her neck and uh up to the side of her face you see veins just red uh vibrant it's the cleanest looking thing about her how well these tattoos uh were done on her Mm. And um, you see uh, the rest of the band there as well. You see Remy on the drums, big barrel chested, short uh, blonde rustled up hair. Uh, just just this really beefy dude uh, hitting away as a sort of gross wife beater on. Uh, he's just slamming away on the drums. Um, and uh, I have to find the rest of the, there's Cole, the lead singer. Yeah. Uh, Dirty blonde hair, kind of wears a. He's wearing a bandana right now. He has sunglasses on, and he's 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 impressive. Uh, you are a, a senior in, in your own band, and you're. Oh, I don't know if they exist anymore. You tell me. Um, <laughs> I'd like to pop in on one of their uh, practices at some point and find out if I was replaced or not. Dude, I've been waiting for you this entire time. Um, Cole is an impressive senior by his own right. Um, cool. Uh, he has a, a good presence to him. And then you see uh, uh, Sammy, the bassist, just this sort of a like ratty looking individual, and uh, Anya. Uh, keyboard player, right? Yeah, the keyboard yeah. player. Uh, she's just playing away. All of them are running off of this generator to, to a power strip. Mm. Their amps are plugged in, like it could blow at any second. It's not dangerous. <laughs> and then you see, uh, you uh, as you enter, uh, it's you can't, you can't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, you feel someone come up from your, your blind side and hug you around the, the waist. Mm. And you look down to see Cam. Whoa. Oh. Cam? Cam is 
definitely fond of V. By the way, Cam, Cam ha still has their signature giant sort of almost like mushroom hat <laughs> yeah. of this of this greenish hue. But around, the, they're wearing uh, black and green along this sort of um, uh, tight uh, uh, long sleeve shirt. Uh, this plaid skirt that they found somewhere because it's half ripped up <laughs> yep. around. And also jeans mm -hmm. and two different boots but they're the same size one's brown one is uh one is black <laughs> little punk over there. kid yeah um and uh they're not wearing makeup either and uh you do notice uh, on the side of their neck mm. is a vein tattoo i like pick the kids like chin up like yeah what is that <laughs> <laughs> it's too loud yeah, here. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 what no, is no. that? And uh, the band stops. <laughs> yeah. And they all look over. I'm like, Principal V, I got in trouble for arguing with the history teacher again. Uh, v turns <laughs> over to you, says, well, maybe you should stop being a dumbass. Well, maybe they should teach the right part of history and not what America says happened. Well, who are we to say oh, America? She's putting her away. <laughs> uh, the guitar, she comes up and she walks up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Um, uh, Cole looks at you and has, has a water bottle in his hand. And he gives a sup sup. motion. Yeah, <laughs> the sup, sup nod. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Remy's like, oh, hey, Elias, welcome <laughs> back. And he stands up, hey, man, and walks over and gives you a big hug. He kind yeah, of like, lifts you uh, up. Very, very uh, tall individual. Yeah. Just, oh, how you doing, man? Go easy, dude. Uh, I'm good. good. Just got out of school. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. School, that's cool. <sighs> It's just keeping everybody off my back. I got away with a lot of crazy shit this past year. I don't want anybody following me. Yeah, around. we understand that, right, guys? No one's... Anya's putting away <laughs> her stuff. <Yeah>. Sammy's <laughs> like... Boom, boom, Two boom, boom. things. First of all, what the hell is this on Cam's face? Uh, V looks over and says, Oh, yeah. Little badass over here in their, uh, their first tat. Look at that. Who did it? Come on, Cam. Showed off, Cam. Kind of yeah. you know, very <laughs> proud. Just like, yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Let me know a guy. <laughs> who? The guy that did yours? What's wrong with the guy who did mine? He is creepy. Yeah, but he does good work. Yeah, but he's creepy. Yeah, but he doesn't ask for a lot of money. No, he doesn't because he always asks to take 20 pictures of all angles of your face so he can put them on his website. I don't even know who advertises stick and poke tattoos. That's just weird. Uh, uh, make an insight roll. 19. Uh, as you're saying this, you're looking over to Cam. And Cam's... Yeah. There's this... Disappointment oh. a bit in it, yeah. <laughs> like, and just kind of shies away, not wanting you to see yeah. it anymore. V looks at Cam, then back at you. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I like look back over at Cam. I'm like, it is kind of cool though, right? Cam looks over to you. Isn't it awesome? It's so cool. I mean, I never got. I thought it would hurt more, and it really hurt a lot. But it didn't hurt that much. Uh, you know, I, I, and I thought they were gonna poke right through my neck and right out the other end, and I was gonna die. Well, you didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're here now. Yeah. And I'm stronger than ever before. Yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, you didn't just hug me. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Well. That, that makes you yeah. super strong, cause you squeeze really tight. Oh, right? could you breathe? Yeah, I've been working out. Hardly. They like flex and there's nothing. You know, there's... <laughs> uh, yeah, V um, looks back to the band and just says, "All right, that's you know, go on your own way. We're we're done now." Then Cole's like, oh, "Really for real?" So yeah, we're done now. Go, be ready for Thursday. Yeah, all right, all right. Wait, what, what's what's Thursday? Would you forget it again? How many times do I have to? And she knocks on your yeah. head and like put it into your brain. <laughs> Just text Mr. Judge or something. I I, I need to, to. I can't waste my minutes reminding you uh, all the time what to do. I'll write it down. A concert. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Where? The uh, Rebel and Empire. Cool. How'd you guys get a show there? I know a guy. Who knows a guy? Who knows a guy? Who I put a knife to at one point, but I didn't. 
Uh, it's not important. That's the show. That's what matters. Okay. I'll be there. All right. Yeah, good. So what brings you here now? Uh, yeah. So, um, have you guys been like followed lately at all by any particularly weird government type dudes? You have to be a little more specific. Uh, kind of followed a lot. Uh, dark red haired, slick back, wicked tall, kind of lurchy. His name's like Frankenstein. Car- Remy. Francis. Francis. Anybody Calloway. follow you named Frankenstein? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no. <laughs> yep. When was Halloween? No, <laughs> you. Whatever. <laughs> no, nobody named Francis Calloway has been following us. Well, good. Because he just showed up at my school and he was asking me and Adam a lot of questions about what happened last winter. Ooh, what'd you tell him? I didn't tell him shit. That's my boy. But... Um, that's also my boy. I think he also questioned um, Xavier and everybody bet, else that was there. I bet that little bitch squealed. Well, we don't know if Cedric did either. Or Cedric Jackie. even more so. Or dude. Jackie. We like can't get in touch with her. I'm sure Jackie's fine. Well, yeah, but like, what about the other two idiots? Well, you talked about it beforehand, right? Came up with a little story altogether. Well, we didn't really get the chance. And I didn't know that everybody else was getting questioned, too, until today when me and Adam were in the same session together. I'm so glad I do not do crimes with you. Well, I didn't say anything in particularly weird, but they looked at me kind of funny when I may have said something about vampires in Florida. Wow. Because... Wow. Adam also said something about vampires. You know, you gotta tell me, when it happens, how the sizes of straight jackets work. Because I've been in the market, and I think I could find one that really hugs me nice and snug and tight. You know? I think I'll let you know soon, because they're, they're hot on our trail. Oh, well. They're gonna have to get through me first. I feel a lot better now. You I should. Really do. You should. You really, really should. <laughs> you really, really should. You didn't bring a beer, did this you? Guy. No, I didn't bring beer. Are you sure about that? I'm 17. They never believe me when I tell them that I'm 21. No, they I meant the Francis dude. Uh, him? What? Did you bring him here? No. You're good. I said, huh? did you bring beer? I'm like, no, dude. Oh, no, not beer. <laughs> <laughs> We have beer. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. Like, you got the, that dude over there, he's like 40. <laughs> just or just guy, some random guy. Some guy walk by like, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to, he's trying to mess up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, dude. Party. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll, whatever. 40, Jason. 40. <laughs> All right. It walks away. You guys should really get him some help, man. Nah, I like him the way he is. He's <laughs> he's got docile. The, he's got the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I didn't bring him here. But good. He like I don't know. He eyeballed us really funny, and then like he left in a black car. Mm-hmm. To go do government stuff. He even gave us a business card. Like, check this Ooh. shit out. Oh, look at that. Remy, what do you think? Uh, kind of, she uh, walks over and hands it to him uh, over the drum set as he's putting it away. He's like, Francis Ca- Calla- Ca- Calloway. Calloway, thank you. Wow, that's a lot of numbers. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> like, hands it back. Like, he must be really important. I don't know what he is, but he wants us. And he said he knows a lot more than he's like willing to let us know about. So he's like trying to. He's got an idea of what happened. Like mm. he's got a version of the truth, and he's trying to get our version of the truth. But none of us are going to give it to him. And I think because of that, he's going to start following us to try to figure out what it actually is. All right. Well, if it gets too close, you just kick his ass. Yeah, but then what happens? We fuck with him, and then... Like, but he leaves you alone. That's what happens. Dude, that's not how the government works, and you know it. I don't know. You know, what, what do you want me to say? 
I just, I don't, why do you guys just keep an eye out for him, I guess? Fine. Or... I'll look for a tall, Agent Smith looking motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. With red hair. Yeah. He was kind of dressed a little weird. He kind of looked like, like, the dudes from the Mighty Mighty Boston's. Like, a lot of plaid. It was kind of funny. Oh. But. He doesn't well, look would, like a government type, but he an acts like a government type. For the mighty, mighty boss tones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you say it Cam, like that, it sounds Cam stupid. Says, oh, oh, is that is that another band? Yeah, guys, it's it's. You guys, okay. is, it, is it a cool band? Should I listen to them? It, I mean, you could. Okay. Uh, they're they're kind of goofy, but I mean, like they're they're fun. You see, Cam, um, <laughs> which is behind. There was a, a sort of uh, a chair, like a crappy metal chair, with the the cushion is you know half off yeah. that uh cam was sitting on they go over and they um there's a bag next to it um I'm small like, over the shoulder bag and they take it and they uh they pull out a um a cd player it's an old black with you know the stemmed uh headphones on um and they pull out a, a stack of old cd uh cases and they're just like uh okay uh uh, no, no, I don't see him here. Um, I guess I'll have to get some somehow. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll get him. I'll get him. And Cam is sort of trying to calculate uh, a, a plot in their mind as he's wander in the room. Stealing records. Love it. Mm. But, yeah, so, I don't know. I just, I got a bad feeling from this dude, and I feel like he's going to pop up again. All right. Well, we'll pop right back. Pop. Yeah. Mm hmm. How have you been otherwise? I mean, good. I'm tired, I guess. I'm, mm -hmm. I feel like my mom is, like, tracking my phone. Still on your ass? Always now. It's exhausting. <laughs> Here she is again. Mm -hmm. Should I answer it this time? Uh, yeah, but then hang up like you got disconnected. Good idea. Yeah. Hey, mom, how are Hey, mom! Oh, uh, <laughs> you, hi. You hear, uh... Are you hanging out with her again? Uh, yeah, why? You're supposed to be back from school. I just got out of school. I went to go see her, and then I was gonna go home. And then V reaches over and... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Remy's like... <laughs> this picture Ninom. <laughs> 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 Remy's instead of just chuckling in the corner. Yeah. Like, Vivi's oh. laughing. I, dude, I gotta go. She's gonna kill me. Yeah, it's you know a sad day when it's your boyfriend's last last time you'll be seeing him. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, any last words? Uh can I have your stuff? Maybe, but I'm. Um, taking my minor threat records with me mm, that's nope get out all right out, out of my office all right attention out okay i'll Next see you week i'll see you thursday yeah, you better don't uh, forget all right. if rebel I don't, and empire if i don't die tonight i'll see you thursday if i, I want to see your corpse there if Mr. i judge if i do die i'll find a way to walk my corpse back in thank you <laughs> <laughs> i like turn around i'm like bye cam <laughs> Bye, Eliza. Thank you for coming. Come out again. <laughs> Bye. Later. And then just <laughs> take off. All right. So, um, Adam, mm -hmm. you're uh, looking. You go back home. Yeah. So you're going to look up Xavier. Uh, the fir first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to text Elias, being like, um, Cedric's cool. We're looking for Xavier. All right. How are you texting him? Uh, well, I guess I'll have Mercury text him. Okay. Oh, no. How does this work? <laughs> This is a new... Uh, yeah, so um, I've been kind of training Mercury okay. to be more adept with technology. Okay. Um, so um, pretty much how it works is if I've had Mercury eat a piece of technology, mm -hmm. he can then function as that piece of technology. Right. Okay. Um, so since he's eaten my phone... Mm -hmm. In the, in the previous season, mm -hmm. um, I can pretty much communicate to him to text someone. Okay. And he can. He can just right. digitally do that. He can pretty much like make himself into a phone to do so it. So you're saying you're dissertating it out loud. Or yeah, you know, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, all right, so what do you say? Um, I, yeah, I'm just like, uh, Mercury, could you text Elias and just tell him that Cedric's cool and I'm looking for Xavier? Okay. 
You should make Mercury eat a motorcycle. <laughs> Mercury, <laughs> Mercury says right away, Adam. Okay, thank you. And it's by this time you're about uh, Elias. You're um, on the on the, the train back, and it's a bit crowded. You know, it's midday, and uh, you just, people all around you, and you just hear a. Like, oh, God, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Like, looking at their phones. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no, it's it's me. Sorry, I didn't put it on silent. Mm -hmm. I open. <laughs> yeah, you, you, see, you see a message, all capital letters. <laughs> Cedric is cool. Uh, what was it? Chip? Looking for Xavier. Looking for Xavier. <laughs> like, Cedric isn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> I put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then I guess uh, just on my computer at yep. home, I'm just gonna first thing I'm actually gonna do is uh, I'm gonna Google uh, Mr. Calloway here. Okay. Um, and just even though I know it's probably nothing because he's shady. Um, sure. Just see if Make it an comes investigate out. roll. Investigate. My specialty. Sixteen. A sixteen? Yeah. Um. There are um. Several news articles that come up. Okay. Uh, most of them dating pretty soon after the um, the material parallapse <laughs> event. Uh, and s most of them are like the mayor of New York saying everything's fine. We're gonna be re rebuilding. Yeah. You know, federal aid and all of that. And um, in some of those news stories, um, the his name Francis Calloway mm -hmm. has been cited even by the mayor himself um, as a sort of uh, critical individual in the restoration of New York New York's oh. infrastructure okay are there any like companies tied to him or like mm. where he gets his funding no anything like that um, the taxpayers <laughs> yeah no you <laughs> Not really. Oh, no specific mentions of any companies. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's it for him. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Xavier on Facebook. Yeah. Or... He has a Facebook. Okay. He has a lot of friends. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go on into his like about section and see if his phone is in there somewhere. Okay. Six. Six? Yeah. Um, there are no num phone numbers present mm. onto there. Um, I, there's not a lot of info you, you get from it. Yeah. Um, can I like message him? Yeah. Do a message. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send him a message. Just be like, hey, Xavier, it's Adam. Uh, just wanted to catch up and see if everything was all good. Uh, went through a lot. So, um, just want to make sure you're okay. Okay. And that's it. You know, don't see an immediate scene to get, you know, yeah, or anything yeah. like that. So, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send that and then just like plop into bed. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna talk to Mercury and just be like, hey, um, I haven't really talked in a while. Yes, things have been peaceful, but also a bit hectic with your schedule. Yeah. Speaking of which, you have a, uh, an addendum to your schedule uh, tomorrow. Your track meet is meeting a bit later. The track team. If you didn't remind me of all this stuff, I would just never got out of bed. It's what I'm here for. Well, not initially, but it's what I am now. Yeah. Um. I kind of wanted to talk about when you came here initially. Sure. Um. We we have this flashback moment of season zero. Mm -hmm. Uh. We see. Adam behind a, a Denny's <laughs> yeah. looking at a dumpster as this small uh, sliver of mercury substance climbs out of it. Um, and even before that, we see a destroyed uh, streak of land in upstate New York as some sort of impact from space mm -hmm. struck the soil. Yeah. Um, Come back. You know, a lot's happened since then, and um, have, have you, have you come into, or have you had contact with Mbaya at all? No, our home planet, unfortunately, uh, 
I do not know the state of it. The last time, as you may recall as well, we've seen it was during your conflict with Maria several months ago. Yeah. Albeit briefly. Yeah, that's why I was a little worried. Um, didn't really seem good. Hmm. I didn't know if, if you had any signal from them or... Unfortunately, I do not contain... or I, I do not have the capacity mm. to contact such distances. Yeah, no, that's that's okay. I just, you know, I've just been thinking about, a lot about it ever since things calmed down and um, I was kind of worried, you know? I mean, we don't really have a way to get back there and help if they need us. Mm. Well, it is not something we can affect as of yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Unless you know an individual that could make contact. I mean, if anyone, maybe Savannah. Perhaps. But... I, I, I don't want to just go up to her and be like, Hey, can you, like, uh, just send a signal to my home planet? That would be kind of weird, right? She might enjoy the challenge. That's true. If it's a challenge for her. Do you think we should? What do you think, Adam? I think I'm... I'm worried and I'm curious, but I don't know if it's actually a good idea. Is it a good idea? What, if, what, they what were do like you think, war. Adam? I don't know. What if they're, they're, they were like at war when we last saw them? You know? It, it didn't seem very peaceful. It didn't at all. It's like if we went there, it probably wouldn't be peaceful. Well, oh, but maybe they the need Nibai us. Oh, it's probably a good idea. Oh, but we uh, might die. Uh, I, I, maybe uh, we shouldn't bring well, I, well, a Jackie and Elias yeah. if we go. I don't sort know. Sort of pauses. Yeah. <laughs> you seem, as you said, Worried and curious. I am both. Maybe we'll just sleep on it. How do you sleep on it? It is an intangible no, no, concept. No, no, like, we won't think about it until the morning. Oh, <laughs> well, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I will lodge that one into my memory. Okay. Thanks, Margaret. You're mm -hmm. always here when I need you. I'm always here anyway. Yep. <laughs> I love how literal he is. Yeah. <laughs> Time for sleep. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Elias, what are you doing for the rest of your day? Um, I'm heading home. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you head home. I go see you to your to your apartment. Um, yeah, as you you open the door, um, looks as though your mom has recently gotten home, mm. no longer working the graveyard shift <laughs> over at uh at the morgue. Uh, we see uh, we see her um, looking a little less tired than we're used to. Mm. Uh, your mother, uh, long, straight black hair. Um, very pretty. You know, she aged very gracefully. Um, a bit thin. And she uh, she's making dinner. Uh, nothing nothing impressed. Like a roast. Something. That she's just like heating up in the oven. She's like, looks at you. Then looks at the clock that's above the uh, the, the kitchen door. Then back at you. Mm. What did I tell you? Home after school. I just I, I had to go ask V something. Well, then you should have texted me and told me you were going to do that. Yeah, but then if I texted you didn't answer my phone call before. I was in the middle. And of you hung up on me. I did not hang up on you. I lost my signal. You know, Staten Island spotty. Make your deception. <laughs> Sixteen. Oh. Thought that was a one. You know, there's like power lines and narrows your eyes. Junkyards mm. and all right. Dilapidated elementary schools. Okay. Well, you should have called me when you had a signal. I know. Oh, come on, sit, sit, eat, eat. Some's done. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, like how, sit down at the yeah. She says, uh, how's work? I mean, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm all muddled. Mud Talking mud to yourself? Yeah. Uh, how's school? Uh, school's okay. The counseling afterwards was kind of weird, though. Oh, yeah, it was your last day. Yeah. How, how'd that go? Well, this guy showed up. Okay. He gave me a business card, and I, like, showed it to her. Oh. Looks official. Oh, military? Yeah. Uh, what did you do? He he asked me and Adam about like what happened last winter. I'll take it back and mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, okay. So just kind of I don't tying know. up loose ends or something. I don't know. It yeah. was a big event. I didn't see them wanting to yeah. cross their T's, dot their I's. He just, I don't know. He, he was really weird and put a lot of pressure on us about it. So I wanted to go see if V had heard of this dude. Mm. And then Adam was going to go see if anybody else had heard of him too. Mm. So I went to go ask. We should have just said that. Well, it's kind of hard. You, you called me in the middle of it. Yeah, well, you, you were there a little longer than usual. Yeah, because that guy. You know, just, well, you know, just a, you know, a bit worried. It was it was creepy. We were worried, too. We had to you see there. there's sort of a boiling water uh, like on, on the stove for, mm. for some other dish, and it's boiling over. Yeah. She's looking like, at you. Mom, mom, mom. It's <laughs> No, listen, it's just, you know, I just get a bit worried about, the, the, about the, the you know, vegetables, what if you disappeared again? And that would be really, over. really, what, 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 what out, out with it a lot. There's... Oh, I, why don't you say anything? Fire! <laughs> Just what takes it off. <sighs> okay. Crisis averted. Well, what did you tell him? He said we told him everything we knew. Well, did you tell him everything? I mean, as much as... Out of game. Did you tell her? Um, I mean, I know she knows a lot more because of... Sure. Uh, Shane and stuff, and like I know yeah, she knows. But did you we have tell her what happened? In short form, yeah. Okay. Like a gloss over of it. Sure. But I didn't tell her like specifics. Like we totally almost died a bunch of times, and sure. But enough of like we totally went to another dimension mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, dealt with stuff. So you she told knows enough to him. Believe. She says to you. <sighs> I told him mm. we already told him everything we knew. Oh, oh I didn't God. change that. Oh, oh God. What's his happening? We're raiding with six raiders. <laughs> wow. That was really dramatic. Hey, welcome, raiders. Uh, was that from uh, our Final yeah, Fantasy it was. charities? Yeah. <laughs> thank What's you, up, Misto Stavern. Appreciate the raid uh, very much. Uh, thank you. Thank that's, you. That's so cool. That was from our charity stream. <laughs> that was the first time we've ever been raided. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna Thank have to joy. change that. I yeah. <laughs> My god, that was really dramatic. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Sephiroth. Yeah. Drops um, in from the ceiling and says, Elias. <laughs> You must take the, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. No, dude, go away. <laughs> Sorry, I'll come back later. Every My mom's going to be really mad at yeah, you. Yeah, your mom takes his ass. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. But, like, she knows. She knows oh, yeah, yeah. we have powers, but she doesn't know the extent yeah, yeah. to which we went through yeah. back in yeah, the she, winter. Yeah, uh, um, she starts preparing dinner. Mm -hmm. She says, okay. Well. I'm like, but we kind of fucked up. Okay. Uh, me and Adam realized after the fact, we both told the government, dude, well, we both told the counselor separately about vampires. Oh. Or rather, we mentioned we encountered vampires. Adam said he had a dream, but like I said, I did too. But like we both you were being said a punk. that keyword, huh? You were being a punk. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> more or less. Anyway, I just didn't want them to like be spying on my friends and keeping tabs on no, everybody, no, I... and then following you around in a big black Sweet. SUV. Sweet. And Sweet. like, I'm not saying you should have told them everything. You know, some things, maybe the I didn't think they were gonna believe me anyway. Yeah, you know, so it's, I think what you did was fine. Wow. I mean, what you both did is suspicious, but what you did is fine. Yeah, but like, they, they're they totally following us around now. Well, they can't come in here. Or they will feel my wrath. Wow. Cool. I hope they have a warrant. I would like to see them try. Hmm. All right. Smoke out of the oven. Like, mom, um, you know, um, and they think they didn't just mom, barge right in here and start questioning. I, you should barge my little baby about anything. I then you know what? Burning. They burning. are not I, your mother. I, know you're really, I like, am your mother, like, and I on this say and, like, you're you're burning. Whatever I say now, goes. The roast in the oven is also burning, and my roast is and burning. Mom, and my roast is burning. <laughs> <laughs> Go over it. <laughs> takes it out like uh, it's gonna be a little crunchy today dinner's gonna be crunchy oh okay. awesome I can't wait <laughs> um yeah <laughs> just takes it out it's just... why don't we just order some Chinese 
Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, okay. General Sows, please. <laughs> so, anything else before? Um, I guess um, I'll text back Adam. Okay. And I'll say V knows nothing about Francis Calloway. It is uh, dissertated to you. Yeah. Um, v knows nothing about Francis Calloway. Yeah. Uh, just uh, respond to Elias. Just say um, I looked him up. I I did a quick Google search, and he, he's part of the like relief effort cleaning up the city. But I couldn't really find much else. Hmm. And, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like ten o'clock at night. I'm like trying yeah, to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I'm like oh, I'm like covering it with a pillow and yeah. stuff. Like geez. you get the message all capital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like check it. I'm like we're gonna get used to this. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I throw my phone and go back to bed. Adam, I don't understand this. What? I think what? Elias didn't finish his message. What do you mean? All I see is K. No, that... <sighs> yeah, that pretty much means, like, stop texting me. Oh. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, so... Let's go to bed. Let's, let's go to bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Okay. 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 So, the uh, the two of you go to bed, mm-hmm. and uh, proceed until the next day, July sixth, twenty twenty one, Tuesday, uh, normal stool day. So, uh, Did how school in July? Huh? Oh, no stool. Excuse me. Um, uh, oh, you're right. I totally uh, fucked up. Well, I've tried. Oh no 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 no. I had a reason for that. Classes were extended. Oh, because yeah. of. I was thinking pandemic rules for some reason. <laughs> Classes were extended due to the event. Due to, yeah, the mm-hmm. parallax. Mm-hmm. So the dates here for summer, for summer vacation, are it's mid-July to September. You want to so br- guys... breeze over that real quick for our Raiders? Breeze over what? Why school's extended? Oh, yeah, I, I suppose I could. Well, we uh, due to so this is our season two for, for you know uh, for some people there but uh, in the events of season one our finale um, a great event occurred um, a uh, something called the material parallax which was a cause of our main villain of the first season causing our realms to collide but was stopped by our heroes before it could be complete and as a result um, our heroes were gone for two weeks in the world and uh in those events, the world was kind of falling apart, and school was not a priority. <laughs> so as a result, the semester has been extended uh, as of right now. Um, you guys are will be ending soon, going into senior year mm-hmm. after this. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that is why. Right. So that's why school's going into the summer. Yeah. The exact date would be... It's not this week, the end of next week. Is. So uh, like so they uh, like so today's the sixth July eighteenth or something yeah around that date I have cool. the calendar up here cool, I cool, want cool. to sift through all my notes treat um, but yeah so you guys have to go to school yep uh, how has it been in school for you guys you guys have finished your etch- the extra classes that you had to take as well mm. but what uh, you know you said you were studying a lot harder Adam yeah like I'm trying to refocus on my studies but uh, Adam. Adam is like, like itching mm. to tell people that mm. he's a superhero. I see. Because like, like after like season one ended, you know, like they saw us all in our costumes. I've been like, and I see people watching the video of us. So I'm like, I want to tell people that's me. Yeah. Like I really want to. Yeah, you hear like, especially in the month after, like the fir- very first month you guys were back. Yeah. Um, People were like, look at this. Oh, my God, this yeah, is impossible. Yeah. People freaking out about it. And I just have to be like, oh, yeah, that's so cool. I wonder who it is. But like, I, I'm like, you I wish just, you just... were as cool as like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the running track. Be like, oh, if only you were as fast as that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it. But I'm focusing on my studies. I'm just like, I can't. I know I can't. Okay. So. Glass. Um... I'm just like doing everything I can to keep a low profile after everything. Like, okay. I don't want to be associated with anything that went on. I don't want any attention on me after everything because mm-hmm. of government types like that guy that appeared that's yeah. now creeping on our lives. So both of you keeping a low profile. Yeah, yeah. Hitting the books in some way. Doing my best to. Yeah. 
Ohias, I think, is kind of shell shocked after the uh, whole thing with um, the Umber Collective and stuff too. Like, doesn't really want to tangle with any of that. Yeah, anymore. your father, who works for the Umber Collective, is has not contacted you. No, um, and anything like that. Uh, no, neither of you have been contacted by the Shadow Mercenary Group, mm-hmm. so you don't know what they're up to. Yeah, if anything. Okay. So, school lets out. What do you two want to do? Uh, I have track, right? Yep. Okay. I guess I'll... Need it for track? Yeah. Okay. Anything in the agenda for Elias? Mm. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. Perfect. I am going to go peek in on the old Bloodbath and Beyond (laughs) practice setup. I want to see what's happening with... Elias' old band. Okay. <laughs> Thank God I didn't write their names down. You know, I think they're on my old sheet. Uh, at least they are on your old sheet. At least some the bassist is. Yes, Zeke Walton. Oh, I do have his name written down. <laughs> I was like, who is this Zeke Walton dude? No, He's I, the I bass player in Elias' old crappy band. Okay. Damn. Good for you uh, for having that written down. <laughs> so, you hit up Zeke. Do you want to try and like go to a practice? Yeah, I, I want to just show up to a practice. Okay. <laughs> so you have to travel uh, a little towards Manhattan in there to go to the uh, yeah. the dive bar. I just know where they're playing or where they practice mm-hmm. or used to. The I sort of see if they still work. pseudo CD uh, underground um, bar that you frequented many times before, uh, and uh, it's dead because it's the uh, middle of the day. Uh, but you can hear as you're approaching. You hear uh, in a Parallel to when you walked in on a Vice and Sin playing at the elementary school, um, you hear the rumbling of bass and, and whatnot from the building. Hmm. And you hear a uh, video perception roll? <laughs> 12. 12? Uh, you hear a voice singing. Like hey. yelling. What the hell? I like start like coming down, like kind of trying <laughs> to sneak in stuff. without like interrupting yeah there's no window or anything yeah, it's just like, like a, the a solid yeah. thick door and you can open it it's open mm. um and you open to see the left side of the bar um roland the the owner isn't there he's sort of back in the kitchen area yeah uh but you immediately see the right again the place is dead but to the right uh you see uh your former band uh playing rehearsing uh you see zeke on bass uh, he's dyed his hair platinum blonde. Oh no! <laughs> uh, just has this long fringe in the front, and um, uh, yeah, you see, it, uh, there is a new singer, part of the band. Uh, this um, uh, he's built a little extra. He's it's, but it's muscle. You yeah. see that it is like very much muscle. He's got a shaved head, uh, uh, pierced ears, his. Uh, his nose is kind of big, uh, like, oh, and kind of uneven. Like it's been like broken, it's broken and reset yeah. a yeah. few times over there. Uh, he looks a little older, maybe like college age. Mm. And um, he's wearing, uh, he's wearing uh, a kilt. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's just, and the 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 music still has like that hard punk energy to mm. it. And uh, you wait for a moment, and they finish it. Mm. And they start talking, not really noticing you. Yeah. I'm just like walking and I start clapping. I didn't know you guys. <laughs> out of the darkness, yeah. you yeah. you emerge out. <laughs> like, I didn't know you guys were a skinhead band now. Like, they all God. look over to you. I leave for six months and I come back to this. <laughs> they like look at each other. Yeah. And Zeke says, What the fuck? Yeah, I should be asking you the same thing. Yo, dude, I haven't heard from you in fucking my What the fuck? Gets up, puts his bass down, comes yeah. up to you. Isn't sure whether like hug you or beat the shit out of you. Um, I mean, same. <laughs> looks, looks like over the and old just like, friend group. <laughs> hey, this looks back, looks at you. Mm. This is a very awkward energy yeah. in the air, and be like, like well. You know, you, you like you said, you're gone for six months. Yeah, I was. You know, I was gonna lie to you, but I'm here because I want to know what you guys are doing on Thursday. 
Uh, why, you wanna go on a fucking date with this dude? No, but like, I was wondering if like, you guys were going to like, any shows or playing any shows without me, cause you're clearly practicing for them. Uh, yeah, we're pretty show ready, we played a few already. We're, we're fucking good. Sanderson, come down here. Uh, Sanderson? Yeah, and you see, <laughs> Flick comes down, Sanderson walks up, he's a good yeah. foot and a half taller than you. <laughs> kind of looks down. Hi, how are you? What's up? So, where'd you find this guy, Aryan Brotherhood? <laughs> kind of looks down. Z, does he, who's this asshole who's doing this trouble over here? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm the guy whose big old shoes you're filling. Don't look so big to me. <laughs> big mouth, dude. Zeke's like, dude, did you just tell me you're like, start shit or something? No, I was just, I wanted to see if you guys were still practicing because, like, I haven't heard anything about you guys or from you guys. Yeah, you know, it's weird. A when lot you... of shit's been going on, but finally I think I've got some time to, like, be me again. Oh, great. Well, you know, it's swell that it's convenient for you, but, you know, when we're looking for shows for six months, hard to do that without a senior. Yeah, well, it's also hard to do that when the fucking, like, city is getting eaten by a giant monster. Yeah, well, that wasn't for planet. full six months. What the fuck, dude? I d dude. You, didn't, you didn't even call us, man. No, but I was in school. Where were you? You weren't in school. Look at that. He what did you turns to the, the group and says, oh... Little uh, choir boy Elias over here, being a good Samaritan, going to school. You changed, man. I changed. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even seen you in school. Did you drop out? Did you drop out of school for bloodbath and beyond? Hey, Sanderson, shut up. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with dropping out for your dreams, dude. You're like thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Elias is going to get his ass kicked by somebody by the end of this episode. This is, uh... Listen, man, this isn't some shitty breakup for some, some girl, you know? You lost your place. Hmm. And I took it. And if you want it back, he just like, looms over you. <laughs> and he just says, uh, well, you're going to have to take it back. And I, like, step back. I'm like, look, dude, you really don't want to do this. Uh, media, media persuasion roll. Nat 20. Can Wait. I death stare him? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I knocked yes, him you, can, you can death stare him. <laughs> yes! What? Is it gonna kill him? <laughs> no, because if you followed me along through season one, you know that uh -huh. the death stare can't actually kill. It's, it's just a word. It's true. <laughs> All right. It's a will save for me. Correct? But I could absolutely paralyze him. <laughs> um, up 16. Um, oh, I got to roll for it. That one. <laughs> oh, no, you got to roll for it. Oh, no, I don't. It's whatever, whatever, what uh, is the rank uh, of it? Affliction 8. Oh, right. Oh, so he fails by one degree. Oh, never mind. So, so what's roll. the first degree of... What's the first effect? Uh, impaired. Okay. Yeah, you what's up, me? Your eyes blow for a yeah. second. Just like a... <laughs> yeah, and he... <laughs> Quick flash. He looks a little dizzy. Uh, he steps back, and he puts a hand on his stomach. Mm. Like like a one minute. Sort of... And Zeke's like... What the, what the, Sanderson, what's the fucking matter? What, what is it? The, the fries? The curly fries? What the fuck? The onion rings? What is it? What the fuck? And he's like... I got a... Oh, what the fuck? He recognizes the power that is... Dude, shut the fuck <laughs> up. You shut the fuck up. You have no right to be here anymore. Fine, man. I just wanted to see what was happening, and I kind of wanted to know if you guys were opening for a vice and sin, because that would be really awkward if we go there that night at the same time. But clearly you're not, or are you? You didn't really answer that. Are you playing Thursday maybe I am, or what? Maybe I'm not. You're probably not. Are you? <laughs> Just stares at you. Well, you're gonna tell me you're not. I don't know. The sooner you tell me, the sooner I'll leave. I just yes, know. we are. You are? Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> How the hell did you guys get that show? 
I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who got I, held up at knife boy by some crazy chick, and then, you know, I talked him down from it, you oh. know, and he hyped down, and yeah, I got the fucking gig. Oh, that's my girlfriend. Get the fuck out. Just <laughs> I get love out. hearing get stories about out. her. But you, you are such like, a liar. She's got such a rich You've life. always been a liar. That's all you are, Elias, is a filthy liar. Get out. <laughs> You're not part of the band anymore. I won't even let you move our equipment. That's... All right, I wouldn't want to be your roadie anyway. Have fun with Captain fucking, I don't know, Mr. Clean or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bed hey. bath and behind. He's like, leaned, he's like leaned over a bit. He's like, oh, oh, fuck you. Ah, change your pants. <laughs> I'm not wearing any. Oh, yeah, because you're wearing a kilt. <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm out of here. You guys suck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it almost sounds like the drunk guy getting kicked out. Uh, like, oh, no, fuck no, you no. guys. You guys suck. You came in here. Mr. Clean ass. You, you came in here shit talk to them for being gone. And then you're like, you know, asking to be like, singer. Yeah, the singer. <laughs> Used a, an ability that you could just cripple him. <laughs> and then split. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Oh, and then on my way out, I want to call V. Okay. <laughs> While I'm fuming. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Those fucking assholes <laughs> replaced me. You didn't who, tell who? me that you were playing with them. Who? Bloodbath and Beyond? Who? My old band replaced me and is opening for you on Thursday. You hear it. <laughs> you also you hear it. What, 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 are you, what are we laughing? What are we laughing at? <laughs> and this his old dad is opening for my. And you hear Cam laughing. <laughs> in the back. Oh my god! I'm like this is horrible. I'm like V, I have to start a new band now. This is bullshit. Well, you can't have mine. I don't want yours. What does that mean? I, nothing. Your 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 bandmates are nice people and they yeah they're, they're okay good back great and stuff You're wasting but i minutes. don't want to <laughs> yeah, i'm just mad dude i wanted to talk to somebody about it this sucks i got replaced by a dick in a kilt <laughs> all right come on over this sounds serious okay <sighs> and and don't tell cam that i hang up <laughs> Yeah, as you're hanging up, you hear, I get this, he wears a <laughs> <laughs> I like, didn't um, want Cam to know to, like, look at me in another yeah. light. <laughs> um, uh, Adam, uh -huh. so you have your, your track uh, practice mm -hmm. and um, grows over, you know, uneventful yeah. over there. I, I still, like, I'm, I'm holding mm -hmm. my pace, you there's, know. There's, there are no more meets happening, yeah, yeah. you know, it is a summer break or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, this is just keep everybody in shape, yeah, you know, yeah. keep the team together and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, but it gets out. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, what are you doing after? Uh, hey, Mercury. Yes, Adam. Um, you know that time a while back when I like went to Florida and met Delilah. Mm-hmm. You know that that was as sucky as it was to like not have my powers for a bit. That that was really a. It was really nice to get away for a while. Um, yes, you seemed uh, in better spirits. Yeah. Um, have I, the past few months, had any of those like Alabama? No, you've not had any any visions. Visions. No. Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing that again soon. You want to go to Florida? I would not, not advise not, that not, in normal circumstances. No, not necessarily <laughs> to Florida, just somewhere, you know? Oh. It's, you... it's summer, it's nice, you know? Mm -hmm. um, where would you like to go? I don't know. I was thinking maybe like California this time. That might be nice. I've never been. Well, not for an extended period of time. Hmm. Um, I'm just... I, I can't... <sighs> I'm going to go look for Savannah. Um, and I, okay. And maybe after that, we'll, uh, we'll take a trip. I just, um... Maybe maybe let maybe let Elias and and um, Jackie know. Last time I didn't tell them and it didn't really go well. All right, I will keep them informed. Okay. Um. Uh, do I have a contact number for Savannah? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, 
could you um could you call Savannah, Mercury? Certainly I can. Please wait. Yep. And you hear in your mind the, the phone ring. Mm-hmm. It's very strange. Yeah. Um because there there's nothing coming through your ears. Everything yep. is being now pre- being projected into your mind. Yeah. It's, and it's very it's a little unsettling. After a few rings you hear the phone pick up and you uh you hear a sort of buzz so like, wind down yeah. and you hear uh howdy savannah uh, how may i help you hey savannah it's adam mercury adam mercury how yeah. are you sweetie i haven't heard from you in a while yeah, it's, it, it's been a long time um i, I kind of had so- something i wanted to uh to run by you where where are you nowadays oh no i'm in my office my my lab like the tent oh no no i'm in that that was not ideal conditions I had to use that because it was in close proximity to the the, the pillar. Yeah, and all yeah. That. I, don't, I don't think I've been to your real office. Oh well, you know, it's it's a nice little cozy place. You should come by. It's down by the pier. Okay, like where exactly? Uh it's uh, I'll text you the information. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll come by ASAP. That sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Bye. And uh, uh, Mercury. Mm-hmm. Relays uh, the information she texts to you. Um, it's on pier number four. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll head to pier number four. Okay, it's uh, still in Brooklyn, but more south, mm-hmm. uh, southwest down, bound. And um, there is a. Uh... <laughs> so you start wondering. You're like, all right, hold on. Where is this place? Uh huh. And uh, when you ask Mercury to send, essentially Google Maps it. Yeah. It's a uh, ferry terminal. Oh. Okay. Like large ferries. Yeah. And uh, as as you move down, um, it becomes clearly evident which one is Savannah's. Mm-hmm. As you see a ferry in the in the the the, the water. Yeah. And there's Tesla coils <laughs> coming out at random intervals. Uh-huh. Um, the entire thing is painted this uh, yellow, pink, bluish, just swirls. <laughs> Uh, sure. All over on there's mm-hmm. crates on the on the deck. There's several levels to it. Looks like this is a very large ferry mm-hmm. um, used for some sort of purpose. Maybe not having anything to do with New York at some point, but for some other place. But then was brought here. Yeah. Uh, and you hear just a, you know hammering, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's tethered to the dock by like a flimsy rope. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. I'll, I'll head on. I'll, I'll head in. Yeah, you, uh, you have to hop in. And I'm just like, Savannah! Savannah! Just like yelling as I get Yeah, in. you see there's three of those Roomba, so robot, they're <laughs> yeah. moving around, and they all stop at you, and their compartments open up, and you see these tasers. <laughs> Roomba, Roomba, Savannah, 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 Savannah. Call oh, off no, your robots. No, no. You know, you know, no, down, down, she, uh, and you see Savannah. Um, the scientists of uh, that helped you before um pretty individual long blonde hair pulled into a, a tail right now yeah um she's wearing these thick black goggles so you cannot see through them at her eyes um she wears hazmat sleeves that up to her mid arm almost to the shoulder mm-hmm. just the sleeves have been strapped on and then like a band is tying them uh around there uh, she's wearing this sort of crop top with her, her stomach disposed with a, a piercing of an atom symbol mm-hmm. uh, on it. And uh, yeah, she she um, uh, opens a door looks like to the, the sort of uh, the steering quarters over there. And she's just like, oh, and she she has a broom. She's like, up, away, up, uh-huh. down, down the, the <laughs> machines, put their tasers away and hey, scatter. Built more of those things, huh? Uh, well, you know, you need some help when you have some more space. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a long time, but uh, I'm sorry to just kind of call you out of nowhere. No, it's fine. It's fine. I understand people are busy. I haven't talked to anybody. And... Well, anyway, let's go ahead and sign now. Yeah, like five months, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah so I'll, I'll move in. Yeah, she, kinda... um, when she opens the door below depths, uh, mm-hmm. you just see wires everywhere, like fat tubing, yeah. uh, just pipes, wires, all strewn about. You have to carefully make your way down the stairs before getting tangled up. Yeah. Um, one of the, the Roomba robots chase you uh, from the top, fall down the stairs, <laughs> and then lands, it, it lands on its back, uh-huh. and then uh, these two prawns just <laughs> flip it over, and it goes back to whatever job Roomba. it was tasked with. And uh, 
yeah, this whole ferry has been uh, completely changed and gutted from the inside out, turned into this pseudo lab. Hmm. Uh, you see computer consoles everywhere, uh, generators are running um, throughout it, and uh, she uh, sits down in a chair, uh, her, her signature rocket propelled chair, as she presses the button, and <laughs> surges forward. Yep. <laughs> and uh, motions you to get another one to follow. Sure, sure. If you take it, yeah. Yeah, I guess. She's like, all right, what can, I, what can I help you with? She just moves to a, a random workstation where she's tinkering or something. Uh, I mean, first of all, is this is this ship yours? Is this, like, your ship? Do you own this ship? Uh-huh. It looks weird. Well, from the outside, like, is this, is this ship from here? Where'd you get this? Oh, you know, I have my places, my sources. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Um, so, I, I'm like... I'm gonna hop out of the chair at this point, even though I just got in and just, like, okay. start pacing like, back yep. and forth. The chair just moves back to its original place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I just start pacing. I'm like, okay, I have a very important question. Um, me, mm-hmm. me, and Mercury. I like, slap my wrist. Mm-hmm. We, we've been talking, and um, look, I, I want to know if you can build something for me, or not. You know, maybe not build something, but do something. I don't know if you have the technology to do it. I'm sure if, I if can you do can, you can make the technology, but um. The planet Nabaya. The planet Nabaya. Uh-huh. That's where I'm from. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, that shouldn't be a surprise to you because we went to hell. But, um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, she hasn't looked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to know if you can maybe send a signal to them? To contact them? Oh, you know how far they are? Approximate uh, uh, AUs? Mercury, do you know how far Nabaya is from here, AUs? Yes. How, how she, far would it be? She te- 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 uh, She has a phone out. And she. Mm, oh. Hmm. That far. Um. Well, I don't know if you know this, but it's pretty difficult to send out messages outside of our solar system. I yeah. can do it, okay. but you may get a response in a long time. You don't have any like weird. Only you know the way to do it faster than that. Well, I can figure it out. Could you really? Sure. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's great. I, that would be better than waiting light years. You know what? I think this would go well. This coincides pretty much well with my uh, with my current studies right now, and I think it'll work out. Well, she starts... Wait, 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 wait. Motions away to a whiteboard, and I mm, yep. starts doing calculations. Uh, I'll run up to her. I'm like, wait, what, what are your current studies? What? Oh, you know, just one. Yeah. I just imagined her. Sorry, that's interrupting. I just like imagined her like turning, going, "Oh, that's really cool," and then like, goes to like the whiteboard, and then him just appearing. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I like saw it in my head. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, what, what are you, what are you studying? What's your? Does it, it coincides with this? Yeah, you know, I'm just doing uh, alternate means of travel, like space travel, sure. dimensional travel. Yeah, both. Anything really? I want to figure out how to do it all. Like we could get from here to Nabaya quickly. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, that's great. That's you, exactly. you did it before. I mean, you were a little baby, probably when it happened. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was last year. I mean, no, it was last year. Okay. But yeah, how did you get here? I mean, I don't remember. Mm, that doesn't help. <laughs> well, when we were on Nabaya and we came back, I mean, I don't know the tech behind it, so I guess I couldn't really help. No family heirloom around your neck that you keep that's actually a key to a great fortress that uh, has this all sort of sciencey stuff in it? I have Mercury. Oh, that's close enough, I guess. <laughs> Ask Mercury if he knows anything about some secret storage of technology. Hey, Mercury, do you know anything about some no. secret... No. No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Crap. That's where she crosses out a bunch of calculations and just erases it. Like, mm, there's that plan. All right, we'll have to work on another. <laughs> but this is perfect. Um, in the event of secret artifact yeah. amulet, just um, when it comes to Nabai specifically, be uh-huh. very if you contact them or find a way to go there, just let me know beforehand because last time I checked, they were in the middle of a war. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So like, if you're like, I'm gonna test it out, and you go to Nabai, don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, honey, I can handle myself. Okay. I, but I, I believe you. I, I will take your your warning. Yeah, I'll take heed of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah. Just just keep me in the loop. Yep. I uh, will cost you though. Huh. What? Do the what? usual. What, what do you want? A sandwich? Yes. Same sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're back. 
Okay. <laughs> you, go to, you go to the uh, the hidden away sandwich shop that <laughs> yeah. Savannah likes very much. Uh huh. Um, I think last time you got donuts. Yeah. This time sandwich. Mm -hmm. Her payment methods change uh -huh. uh, with her tastes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you come back to this nice sandwich. Uh -huh. this nice sub. Yeah. She's like, oh. awesome. I can get to work immediately. <laughs> Tosses it to the side to be forgotten. It's like, yeah. yes. Okay, awesome. And, and uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Just give me mm -hmm. the loop. All right, yeah. You know we'll my do. number. Okay, yep. Okay, bye. Thank you. I'm just gonna head out. Okay. Um, did I get a response from Xavier? Uh, no. Has he seen it? Uh, he left yes. you on red. He left you on, he red. Left you on red. He left me on red. What a dick. No, no, you know, he didn't. He did not see it. Okay. Oh. That's better. Yeah. Kind of. Um, Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for another day. Okay. So, is there anything else you two want to do before Thursday? Um... I mean, I guess we, that was just Tuesday that we played, right? Correct. You have Wednesday. And so, I, I guess Thursday. Wednesday I'll look for Xavier. Just around school. Sure. Um, Make investigate roll. Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. You don't find him, uh -huh. but you, you've been hearing some rumors going around uh -huh. from people, um, mostly girls, yeah, who are a little disappointed with Xavier lately because he doesn't seem as interested in them as he once was. Huh. He's been a little distant hmm. this past few months. Um, can I just like, like if I hear a girl talking about Xavier, can I just like go up to her and just be like, uh, hey, have you have you like, have you seen him around? Is it yeah, the, the student looks over to you. Mm -hmm. he says, uh, no, not really. I mean, he's been in class, but then he just leaves pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I'm a little worried about him. I, I haven't. I didn't know you talked to Xavier. Oh yeah, we're we're getting kind of sizes you up. Yeah, we're getting kind of kind of close uh, there for a bit. Sure. What? What? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on sure the track you're team. you're best friends with Xavier. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on the track team. He's on the football team. What? Yeah. What? Uh huh. All right. Walks away from you. <laughs> like, yeah, he just what wishes. The hell is this he just wishes he was cool. <laughs> anyway, let's watch our video. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's literally me. Yeah, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I'll kill all of you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, okay. Okay. That's all I want to do. And then anything you wanted to do on Wednesday? Um. Uh, stew about how my old band is opening for my girlfriend's band. Because I'm mad and bitter <laughs> about it. You successfully stew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, Thursday will come. All right. So, uh, oh, um, something else I wanted to do too was totally invite Adam to said show. All right. Which sure. I forgot to do in my rage. Sure. sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, you did, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, text uh, Adam and be like, Yo, Thursday. Uh, yo, Thursday. Show. Show. Uh, come. Uh, with. With. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that Elias? Yes, maybe I shouldn't transcribe texts as <laughs> well, they load. Just let me know who uh, who says it first. Oh, sure. Yeah. Elias is, wanted to contact you to join him for a show on Thursday. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell him, uh, ask him what time and tell him that I'm down. Okay. Um, relay the info. Yeah, yeah, eight yeah. at. I don't remember the name of the place, but it was cool. Rebel and Empire. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Um, meet at my house at okay. seven. Sounds good. Solid. <laughs> Meeting where? Uh, my house. Okay. All right. So yeah, you guys are gonna show up. So you guys leave together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the yeah. show. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, it's also in Manhattan. Uh, yeah, as you know, the Rebel and Empire is uh, a good gig. It's nothing amazing. Mm. Uh, it's not like everyone's like, oh, the Rebel and Empire. Mm. But it is a uh, top, it's like the top notch of the Stevie bars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or venues, I should say. Uh, let me see something. Like, have you been to the vault in New Bedford? I have the not. Vault. It's oh. like, it like pretty much what he just described. It's like, like the nicer of like skeezy bars yeah. <laughs> so uh -huh. uh, you guys approach uh, from a distance uh, 
you can already tell the show is sell selling out mm -hmm. and you can um you this building is uh rather large about two stories high but at the top is usually like apartments mm. uh, onto there the the first floor is where it's at it spans towards the back there's a line on the sidewalk leading out and there are uh just posters on the telephone poles in front that say uh, a vice and sin um and then tiny little text opening uh bloodbath and beyond <laughs> And it shows the image of, of um, like a really well done image of, of Vice and Sin. You see V in the front. Um, uh, definitely the the charisma behind the band, even though Cole is the, the lead singer. Mm. And, and then you see like a smaller picture of, of Bloodbath and Beyond. And you see uh, uh, Sanderson in the front, just like Asshole. foot on a right. It's just him too, oh, like, looking oh straight on, like, looking right at the at the viewer, like Ugh. a death stare. The poster, <laughs> like singes. Um, <laughs> um, the the sort of. Um, the, there are a lot of red and blue color themes that are going on in, uh, at this building. Um, once the line lets you in, um, uh, rather they open up and you let in, there's, it's a, a circular bar in the center mm -hmm. of, uh, of this venue, and there is actually a stage. Um, it, it's just barely enough to fit a five-person band mm -hmm. onto it over there, but the place is packed. The lights uh, all around are just every like strobe effect flashing in your face um it has this sort of pseudo nightclub feel to it along the um walls are uh fucked up movie posters and when i say fucked up it means think of like the vintage movie posters of like in this case star wars mm. but uh artists have taken it upon themselves and it looks like it's a free draw kind of thing to misconstrue what's happening on the uh uh, on the posters themselves, I like, do see mm -hmm. the classic Luke Skywalker holding his lightsaber up with everybody like uh, below him and, and all that. But uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, his face looks like it's melting onto there. There's, his lightsaber's a dick. <laughs> uh, uh, crudely Naturally, drawn onto yeah. there. Um, uh, and Darth Vader has like a speech bubble saying like, I'm your papa. <laughs> it's weird, just like all this like weird stuff. Some of them are, are look really nice. Yeah. Like you can see uh, some other different renditions uh, of, of popular movies and whatnot, but a lot of them were trolley yeah, <laughs> yeah. as well. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, onto there. It's dark. Um, and uh, like I said before, it's packed. Mm. Lots of people around holding mm -hmm. cups and drinking beer and whatnot. It's a very busy night. And um, they're playing music over. Mm. As we get in, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I wish... My band was the one playing tonight. This yeah. is like the second concert I've ever been to. <laughs> and you're, like, yeah, and you're with me, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this great? And you guys turn around and Cedric's there. Yeah. What's like, the Whoa. Wait, Cedric, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, you see, yeah, Gingerhead or Cedric over here. He's like, I was invited. By who? V. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, you know, we kind of bonded a bit back a few months ago when, you know, we almost died together. Oh, that's nice. They're all pretty cool. Yeah. I got out of your dreams already. <laughs> How? I got this fake ID. <laughs> oh my god. Cedric, what? It's like a kind of a shitty fake ID. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no one here probably my cares. My name's <laughs> Kyle. 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 Yeah. Can you get me a beer? <laughs> you know it, dude. You want a beer? Sure. Mia, Kyle, Mia, get him a beer. <laughs> we at Keeps Up and Eds do not endorse. No, under no, 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 no. However, for the sake of this fictional story, yeah, yes. oh no. <laughs> you should have said that during the uh, winter ball. When <laughs> he spiked the punch. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I don't think I get drunk anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah your metabolism's too quick. <laughs> yeah, either I get drunk and sober in like a second. <laughs> I imagine that's Wolverine's problem. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's probably why he's so grumpy all the time. So <laughs> can't take the edge off. Too edgy. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys are, are talking, Cedric gets you guys drinks. Mm -hmm. um, is this your first time drinking, Adam? I don't remember if you drank at yeah, the Yeah, I think it is. I don't yeah. remember if you drank I don't remember if you drank at the Winter Ball. I don't think I did. Yeah. I don't believe I did. Um, how, do you, how does Adam react to beer? Uh, it's just a Budweiser. It's like the cheapest yeah. thing we have on tap. Like, he like takes a sip, and I'm like, oh, that's, why do people drink this? <laughs> yeah. then, but then I'm like, oh, it's cool. And I try to drink a little more, and I'm like, no, never mind. I drink like a third of it. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh and your allies is probably adept at drinking. And just hanging out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, after you know a few minutes, you know, 10, 15 minutes, uh, the the lights do a little dark, and everyone 
nobody's like the crowd doesn't go wild. Yeah, there's like two people like, yeah, yeah. As I'm like uh, bloodbath and beyond start grilling them, like who's clapping? <laughs> I, I, I like when they start coming out, not knowing who they are. I'm like, yeah, and then I see you. I'm like, oh. yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Sanderson comes on stage, and he's like, all right. We all bloodbath and beyond. No, you're you, not. Using a completely fake accent. <laughs> like fake British. <laughs> and we're here to blow your fucking minds. Is this dude for real? He's gonna make a performance trip. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here we I go. can't wait. Uh, 14. Wow. Uh, so the band plays, and um, much to your dismay, <laughs> they're not that bad. Um, they, Sanderson does bring a sort of very... Um, tough, gritty energy yeah. to it. It's hardcore. Um, yeah. Um, it's different from a Vice and Sin. I played this more like what's playing in the background. Mm. This sort of metal uh, uh punk kind of a little more melodic with air. Definitely more Henry Rollins band mm. kind of punk uh, yeah. your band was. Uh, which is probably why you joined it to begin with. You know, they've, they've stayed true to that sound. It doesn't look like Sanderson has really done anything to change that. Um, oh, are they playing my songs? Oh yeah, those hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, no. And like oh, before, God. like the next oh, song, no. like this one's called, uh, like Z takes them, like this one's called Bloody Mary Die. And like it was like your title, yeah, and like, like freshman like, year that you wrote, like, like I wrote that. <laughs> and I just start playing. <laughs> Um, just the cheesiest, campiest, cringiest yeah. shit you can think of is like what Elias wrote. I'm like, hey, do you know those guys? I'm like, that used to be my band before I became a superhero. What? With you. Yeah, I used to be the singer, and then we ended up with powers, and then we went all over the place and to other dimensions and shit, and they kept going without me. Oh. I checked in on them I a mean, couple days ago, and I saw that gorilla on stage. He's like, yeah, he looks like 30 years old. I think he is. <laughs> That's what I said. You see weird. It, it, that kilt? That's so weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab some food. You want something? Um. No, I'm too angry to have anything. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm just waiting for a vice and sin. Uh, I'm gonna head to like the bar and just okay. get like uh, whatever perception roll. they offer. Seventeen. Very two for two on <laughs> this uh, one. Very nice. good. <laughs> That's um, what we're done. As you, you have, they have um, the so typical bar like fries and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a little shows. overpriced. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's fried. It's yeah, yeah. it's delicious. Not good for you. Yep. Um, but hey, you know, I'll take it. The saltiness goes good with the beer. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, as you're getting your order, um, you t people are moving all around you and moving to and from the bar. Mm -hmm. You catch a glimpse of somebody looking at you from again, it's a circular shape. You're on one end and. Beyond the other, so like beyond the taps and uh, the bartenders working, mm. um, you see an older man looking at you. Like he looks quite out of place. He um, looks to be in his mid sixties, mm. around that age. He um, his skin is sort of sunken a bit. It's dark in the way that. Someone who's been outside a lot, some, a hard worker mm -hmm. uh, would show. Um, almost, almost a leathery how it looks. He's wearing a um, gray jacket, like a long gray jacket, where the sleeves sort of furl out at the end over his hands. The one of his hand is uh, uh, it's holding a martini glass. Mm -hmm. He um, uh -huh. there's sort of these belts tied around. The uh, the sleeves around his uh, his biceps over there, just a stylistic look. Um, his hair is graying, but you can see signs of his once brunette hue. He's dark green eyes, um, slightly hollow cheeks, and uh, yeah, just kind of looks over in your direction. Um, and it's just trying to like swirling glass. And as a and it does that classic as a bartender mm -hmm. moves over, he's gone. Hmm. And his drink is finished. Uh, I'm like, hey, 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 uh, like to the bartender. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Did you, did you see that that older guy over there with the martini? Uh, yeah, maybe. Do you know who that was? Uh, no, no idea, dude. 
Uh, okay. Um, sure. Uh, can I get some food? Uh, what do you, what do you... Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I serves order, you. Order food. Um, I am gonna just kind of, after I get the food and everything, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that guy. Okay. And for Xavier. Sure. Okay. Mm. Um, eventually, mm-hmm. if you got your food, yeah. mm-hmm. um, you rejoin with Elias and yep. uh, Bloodbath and Beyond are finished. Mm-hmm. They're just like, oh, thank you very much for coming out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid accent. Make sure you kick ass and fuck the authority. <laughs> Everyone, people are like, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, courteously, they leave. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, after setting up, uh, they a vice and sin as they're setting up. Even when some of them come on to set up, like people are cheering for them. Mm-hmm. And you can catch some people with veins tattooed. Yeah. Uh, Definitely, uh, yeah, and uh, the the gang, this this youth criminal gang, the the veins composed of young people, and none of them have the the face tattoos that V have, or even other members of a vice and sin. Um, kind of have V has the most going almost up to maybe even past her temple the uh, um, other people usually only have maybe some on their wrist or some on their neck uh, just random places that are easier to hide uh, but uh, eventually a vice and sin go up and when they go up everybody's <sighs> roaring I'm and, fine, but I'm like woo <laughs> yeah so I like oh man I know I know I flew I mean I drove a car in the Empire State Building after I went out with them. I blew that shit. Oh. I was like, yeah, yeah, Kyle, stand up, right? Come on, dude. Ooh. Who's Kyle? Oh, I'm Kyle. It's me. And they play. Mm-hmm. And they perform very well. Cool. Um, well, well, machine they are. Yeah. Yeah. Um,. Just like the, you know, you've seen them. This is your third time seeing them now. I'll be at the first time mm-hmm. they tried to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But you know, you're all friends now. Hey, everybody. And Cole is a much better uh, front man than than Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, the the show. Uh, do you guys do anything during the show while they're playing or anything? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna search the crowd. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. So while everyone's like. Dancing, moshing, moshing and yeah. you know, it's um, chaos now. I, I'm going to, I'm going to try to use my powers. Okay. To like weave in and out of everyone and like try and like just examine the crowd as closely as possible to find either that man or Xavier. All right, make a stealth roll. I'm going to use my quicker than the eye. Okay. Because I'm moving speedy. That's a twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. So, uh, what does it look like? Um, mm-hmm. Mr. Speedster. First instance of real power you see. So pretty much I'm moving um, at, at an extremely fast mm-hmm. speed at my 4,000 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, and I'm moving so quickly that people can't really see me move by. Mm. I'm like, especially since they're just so distracted. Mm. I'm just kind of like moving, like I'm moving up to someone and looking at them and be like, no, not you. And moving mm. to the next person. And like so quickly they don't even register. Yeah. Oh, in it's... your perception, you're sort of vibrating. Yeah. And people just... Move I just around. imagine that that um that Quicksilver mm-hmm. scene exactly, but yeah. at a show. Yeah, that's pretty much so that. cool. People are just when you see one guy who like is about to do like <laughs> a fist is connecting to his face. And, yeah, like, <laughs> as you move in between and you <laughs> yeah, move I'm gonna, through. I'm gonna try to look at everyone, mm-hmm. um, if I can. Yeah, yeah, you certainly have the speed. Uh, you don't find him, either of them. Mm-mm. Okay, all right, then we're gonna go back to Elias. Hey. Mm-hmm. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole rest of the show, I'm like kind of distracted. Like, who the hell yeah. was that guy? I'm like, were you always there? Yeah, yeah. All right. Are you sure? I thought you were yeah. on this side. I just like I, I just, <laughs> a second ago. I just went looking for Xavier. Oh, couldn't find him. No. I figured since maybe Cedric was invited, Xavier would be too. Why'd you do it like that? Because it's faster. Yeah, but like, <laughs> oh, no one can see me. It's fine. Don't Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, why? I don't know. You're, you're, you're acting a little weird. I'm a little jittery. Preoccupied, I guess. I'll, I'll let okay. you know after the show. After the show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, you guys have to rescue Cedric once or twice from the pit. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, some guy like pushes him like you do in a pit, and he's like, Oh, you pushed me. I, I fucked up a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and it, somebody Stop, hits yeah. him and he just like vomits. <laughs> I walk over and I'm like, it wasn't a vampire. You were at a black metal show. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, and the show ends and they perform very well. Placing the sin, doing a grand job. Let's get something here real quick. Gonna have to make an album, a Vice and Sin album. Right. Oh, I thought of what band um, Bloodbath and Beyond sounds like. I'll have to show you after the stream. There's a bad negative <laughs> approach, and like I imagine them sounding exactly like them. <laughs> You'll know why. The voice is just, it, it's brawny music. The screen fades as the music fades on. We come back in. People are leaving the venue. Um, what are you guys doing once the show's over? Uh, the, they're, the, you can see how Vice and Sin are cleaning up. Carrying Cedric. <laughs> Cedric's over your shoulder like, hey, we should start a band. Yeah, you know what, buddy? We should. Uh, you play the drums. You should be on the kick pedal. And <laughs> yep. I'll be the singer. No, Elias, you're the singer. That's Me? what you do. That's what you, that's okay. what you do. I will be the ladies' do? man. <laughs> that's, that's the instrument you play, our ladies. He plays the ladies. <laughs> you play the drums. You sing. I'll play the ladies. <laughs> uh, but I, was, I, was, I was looking for I was looking for Xavier in there because I haven't heard from him, and I heard in school that. Um, He's been like distracted. He hasn't been like hitting on the girls, or, like, hmm. playing football or anything. Really? Um, so I'm a little worried. I messaged him, but he didn't respond. Um, hmm. And also, I want to see Savannah. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. What's she been up to? Something about traveling through space and dimensions. But uh, um, I went to her because Savannah stuff. I'm a little worried about Nabaya. Um, really? I kind of stumbled onto Nabaya a while back when we were fighting Maria. Um, you, you did. Remember when I, I like Cedric was in trouble. He was laying there. He was like dead, and there was like a like a, a Maria, but not Maria. Like it was yeah, gonna kill him. Yeah. And I like I grabbed her, and like I did my thing where I like went somewhere else. Yeah. I did that, and I I ended you, up on Nabaya. You dropped her off on Nabaya. Yep. Oh shit. But they were like already having a war. There were like armies in the streets, and then I just kind of like threw Maria in there, and I'm not really sure what happened. So I've been I I talked to Savannah about maybe contacting them. You don't think Maria is like alive and thriving uh, on Nabaya, fra- do you? I don't know, but knowing her, she could the whole planet could just be a giant Maria head at this at this moment. So, or she could be dead and they could just have a bad war. Who knows? But either way, it's probably bad. That's and, um, terrifying to think of. Yeah, I'm a little worried. Um, so. I, I went to Savannah, and she said, yeah, I could probably contact them, and so she's going to let me know. Um, what should we do if if she's still there? We'd have to go back, wouldn't we? It probably. Dude, I don't know if I can do this, man. Like, my mom's going to kill me if we do anything oh, like that again. I know, I know, and I, I don't really, I don't really want to. But the only reason I, I I feel like I have to because that's like my family, you know. Like, yeah, like, I, I don't know that. what could have happened to any any of them. But I, if if you don't want to, I mean, I can I can go there myself. It's, I mean, it's my thing. I mean, I want to. Believe me, I do. But like, I'm skating on such thin ice now. I mean, like, I could go. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. she can't stop me. But like, when I get back, you'll probably never see me again because she'll probably ship me off to Alcatraz. I mean, maybe I can talk to her and be like, you know, it's it's uh, it's not his fault. It's my family, you know. I mean, at least we don't have to like lie and say that like we're going camping for three months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, in the Appalachian Mountains. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this might not be for a while. I mean, she she said she'll have to work on it and figure things out. Oh. But I just thought I'd, I'd give it a heads up, and let you know. I mean. At least, like, my mom kind of knows we're superheroes mm. now, so, like, she won't be too upset. Yeah. We gotta really, like, schmooze the, like, family angle on her, and I think that might work. Yeah. But yeah. we can we can do that, but we can't tell her it's dangerous, or she won't let me go. Yeah, we won't tell her that. We'll just say, you know, we've been there before. Mm-hmm. We're just going there again to check up on my family. Yeah. 
vacation. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a lie. It's kind of truth. It, it's, um, it's as true as we can get without worrying her. Yeah, but I guess for now, uh, Xavier's kind of, he's, he's worrying me. I don't know where he's at. He sounds depressed. Yeah, that's, maybe we can get like his address from someone? Go or to eat, like see, check yeah. up on his parents if they've seen him. Maybe Jack Adam, he has his address. Maybe Adam, hmm? you feel a tinge of your danger sense go off. It's something is approaching you. Oh, that sort of and everything boom, slows down for a moment. Yeah. Uh. Then, yeah. As soon as I feel that, can I like look around? Yeah. You look and someone is approaching you right from behind. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you turn, you just see a big hat. And then things come back to normal, and Cam's like, Adam! <laughs> Cam, Cam! Oh, oh, did you just get a spiny oh. sense? <laughs> Cam, you just freaked me out. She, uh, they, they, they turn around, and they're like, oh, sorry. Uh, you know, uh, uh, hey, it's a good to see you. you. When they look at you, uh, you see uh, they have a bloody lip. What happened? Uh, you know, just in the pit. You were in the pit? Yeah, I was in the pit. Did you kick ass? Yeah, you should see them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> I, I just got to <laughs> like, like, like kneel down. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> right. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, what, you, did you guys like it? It was awesome, right? It was uh, there. Yeah, they're they're always twenty great. out of ten. Absolutely, they're always great. <laughs> so what do you what do you guys do now? Um, well, we got school tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday. Oh, so like yeah, we got school right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about that. Stick with them. You're you're good. Yeah, I don't even. What, they don't go to school. Cam, you don't go to school. Dude, no, dude. They gave. Do you see that thing on the other side of Cam's face? Yeah, no, it's, I see it. They gave her. They have a tattoo. Dude. You go to school with tattoos? Yeah, but like, <laughs> I like nobody knows. I mean, everybody suspects, but nobody knows, <laughs> and they're not on my face. Do you like? Is V nearby? Is the band? They're on like, stage. Hey, hey, V. Uh, she doesn't turn to you. She's putting away her guitar and mm -hmm. uh, wrapping up her cords. She said, what? Do you give Cam, like, any sort of education? Yeah, I teach her how to kick ass. What about, like, books? <laughs> books kick ass. We have yeah. a few books. Oh. I'm like, rock on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. And I look back towards Cam like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, just, just making sure you're learning. Also, Cam, don't worry. Your private tutor is coming tomorrow to teach you ergonomics. I, I don't fucking know. What? A right. fucking joke. Oh, oh. You, you freaked me out, dude. Like, I was hopeful for a second. Yeah, I was scared. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm sure they're, I'm sure they take care of it. You, you guys take care, of, take care of them, right? Uh, I mean, hey, what, Cedric? What, why? Hey, you don't you fault him. He's being the best father he can be, dude. I'm not a dad. You know what? Yeah, you mean the best, best, the, 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 the best bad. bad. <laughs> exactly. I think you need another drink. <laughs> Me too. Bad is right. <laughs> okay. I just said, so let's, let's, let's. I'm not feeling so good. Don't throw up on me. I kind of, I like, Cedric. I kind of like hold him Cedric. out. Cedric. <laughs> Cedric. <laughs> under Take a yeah, under yeah, this, <laughs> dude. Takes your water bottle. As he brings his lips yeah. to it, I'm like, and, we, oh, and no. we pan out <laughs> <laughs> to outside. He's like, yeah, you guys are bringing him outside. He's like, I just, I just need some fresh air. It's all. I... Oh, yeah, fuck. nice, cool summer night. Yep, just throw up that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys hear something. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you guys move about to the left side of the building as you're trying to get him away from the front so he doesn't vomit on the ground people step on it um you hear uh, a trash can fall in the alleyway mm -hmm. just next to the building and you hear oh uh. <laughs> what the hell is that i don't, I don't, I don't know i'm gonna yeah like, let's, i'm gonna like set cedric down yeah <laughs> he slides it into the front of the building yeah. i'm just trying to like I'm <laughs> close my I'm lis like, listening yeah, like though. Cedric. Close my, okay. Close my I'm listening though. Cedric, take this water bottle, guard it with your life. Great we'll be it. right back. Oh, sweet water. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look in the alley. Uh, you see that that man in the, the gray jacket mm. kind of stumbling about a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy 
was staring at me in the bar. It, seriously? Yeah. The, the weirdo in the trench coat? Yeah, the weird guy. What's um? What's he doing? There's a, a dumpster mm -hmm. in the in the, uh, in the back, and it looks like it's it was filled up a long time ago. There's like bags of trash overflowing from it, and the old man bumps into it. Oh, oh, and you see one of the bags about to fall on him, full of just trash and roll off, and you know a heavy diesel bag of mm -hmm. black uh, black bag of trash about to I'll, fall on him. I'll I'll go get it. I'll go catch yeah, it. You don't have to. No, I will. Okay. Gonna... Make a um. There's no reflex. Uh, agility roll. Uh, twelve. Twelve? Yeah. You some of it spills out the top, mm. but you're able to get the bulk of it and appear next to the guy, and he's like, oh. <laughs> uh, well, that is impressive. Be careful! Be careful! Like, you almost got hit with trash. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> you know, men will tell you to stay away from the fruity drinks, but there's nothing less masculine than telling someone to be afraid of a fruit. <laughs> you were, why are you staring at me in the bar, man? You're creeping me out. Oh, you and you, your friend are just so... That was great. Uh, so interesting. I look interesting? Oh, you both reek. What? He was more potent than this like, trash. Like sniff my armpit. He was just I like smell of jog over after he just dashed away for me to catch trash. Oh, like, what Yo, you, you two of you just smell of amble belt. It is oh, mm. what? <laughs> it is. You know, wait, 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 wait. It takes a long time to get rid of that. Who the? Did he just say amble belt? I think he did. Wait. Hey, look, dude. Who are you? Oh, well, it's not important right now. What is important is that you get that smell off of you. Usually, it doesn't time. I probably reek of it too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, it, but you know, you become target, birds of prey. You know, I maybe you're not the worry. You're a fast boy. You're very fast. What, what is it? I don't smell. How do you smell it? What are you talking about? Look, man. I didn't know that name. Yeah, we we just want to know where you came from, man. Oh, you'll find out soon enough, I imagine. What that, is that The whole universe to mean? is moving Who are towards you? a central figure, and you know, we all have to learn to go with that cosmic flaw. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the two of you here, um, from behind the building, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a scream. And the scream is familiar. Uh, it's Cam. Uh, well, there is the cosmic flow. Yep. Yeah, okay. Go time. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Can I grab the guy and bring him with me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, make a grab roll. It's an attack check. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Sorry. Did I do something? Yeah, uh, as you as you move to grab him, mm. like grab his shoulder, he <laughs> hits you off. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that go. <laughs> uh, when, when he does that, I'm kind of like, I like take a few steps back like like that and then turn around and dash. Yep. Okay. All right, and then run towards Cam. Uh, you guys easily make it immediately, and mm. it's not a long distance. I, yeah rush over as quickly as I can behind him. Uh, you see uh, Cam, uh, somebody has them around the waist like hoisted up and is pulling them um, to uh, like away from the back of the building. And you see there are about four of these individuals. They are um, they're dressed in you can see these uh, long sort of wool jackets over mm -hmm. them which they must be sweltering in in, in mm -hmm. the summer it's all black yeah. uh, onto them uh, like this this thick material their heads are masked with sort of ski masks onto them looks like it was kind of hastily put together how they're they're clad here there's uh, two women two men mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the, the women has cam so they're, they're pulling her away all of them look to be adult 
ish in age, yeah. of varying physiques. Um, nor wearing black pants, and be, like this is something deliberately that they're you know yeah. wearing mm. and they're designed, but they look featureless otherwise, just humanoid. And, huh. they, and they move around, and you see uh, V uh, is out there. Another thing you see is that uh, a small fire has started uh, between them on the ground on the asphalt, and it's just like a fire was there, and then it is gone away huh. and you see V uh, staying out the back door of the, the venue uh, the guitar is dropped in your hand and uh, currently in a knife fight with one of the individuals what the hell whoa yeah. so these and these things don't have faces just masks featureless huh uh, everybody roll initiative there we go here we go boys a 11 okay 11 51. Yes. <laughs> I legit forgot for a second. <laughs> okay. Adam, you're first. All right. Um, so, V and one of them are fighting. Mm -hmm. One of them's dragging Cam away. Mm -hmm. And then there's just two others. Mm -hmm. They're, like, facing us. Yeah, two of them, now that you guys have turned around the corner of this... this uh, It's a pretty tightly packed alleyway. There is a, uh, a fire escape from the, the adjacent building, uh, but the, the ladder isn't down or anything. Um, they're tugging Cam away from the alley, uh, like the opposite exit mm -hmm. um, to you. So basically it's this U shape and you guys have approached from one corner and they're trying to bring Cam around the other, uh, but they're still in the middle. And two of them move to face you and they take um, a trained stance against the two of you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, one of them pulls out a knife, just okay. like a butterfly knife. <laughs> All right, yeah. When I see, like, when I come up and see them, I'm just going to yell, like, put the kid down. They don't answer. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, dash past the two that are facing me mm -hmm. uh, to the one that's holding Cam. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just kind of, like, like, get in front of them and put my hand on Cam's shoulder and be like, Sonic Boom. And then I'm going to run back to the two and Sonic Boom. Okay. You come back, and, yeah, we hear the cracking of the air. And okay, so what's the save? Uh, the save is a fortitude save of seven. So one pass, one failure. So okay. the uh, how, how many degrees? Uh, one degree. Okay. No, two degrees for the failure. Sorry. Okay, so the one that fails is stunned. Stunned. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you watch as as one of them. Uh, the, the male was able to uh, press himself against the wall just as you started moving and uh, avoided the, the wide uh, boom. And um, the the other one that you passed immediately uh, basically gets hit against the wall from the force, mm -hmm. uh, except instead of being deliberate like the other individual, this female just crushes against the wall and looks ugh, disoriented. Nice. Okay. Um, and the, I just, you want to get the third one? The one uh, depends on can. how far apart they are. Also, probably, you could do it. probably V. Also. Yeah. <sighs> You're essentially going to be getting everybody. Sure. Is it just specifically who you run past? No, this is an AOE around me. Got it. So everybody, including you. Oh, man. So you just wind tunneled the whole Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. If, if, you, if you made it in time, you'd probably get hit. Oh, shit. <laughs> v is stunned. <laughs> okay. You also have to make a fortitude. Too. Fortitude, right? I'm sorry. Fortitude, okay. yeah. yeah. Fortitude? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the other one is I didn't fine. activate my ghost shield yet. Hey, nice. Uh, 23. Oh, you're fine. Okay. And one degree of failure for the one attacking. Yeah, 22. They're, they're dazed. Dazed. Okay. All right. Your turn, Elias. Um. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to soul snare Cam. Okay. Pull him to me. So we're making a pose grapple roll with the other individual. <clears throat> um. What do I add to that? Strength. It would just be strength. Yeah. Um. It would be eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Uh. They rolled a three, which is a five. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you, cool. your chains wrap around Cam. Yeah. Cam uh, was having uh, her mouth, uh, their mu mouth muffled, <laughs> and they bit uh, down. Like ah, let go, and yeah. they get pulled towards you. Nice. Uh, and it's, cool. And they're just like. Oh. Hi! What the hell? What are those shirts? I, I should ask you the same thing. What I happened? Know. I, I didn't piss anybody off. It looked like that. Uh, why are you trying to get kidnapped? 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it? What happened? I don't know. They just grabbed me. I right. opened the door. Well, stay behind me. Yeah, they, they move behind. I activate my ghost shield. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what does that look like to the, the audience? To the audience? Um, he, uh, Elias, like, creates two balls of soul energy in his hands and closes his fists. It kind of pushes them back, and they spread up his arms and kind of protrude out of his skin. And okay. create this kind of, like, green, sort of smoky, thin glow around him. Okay. If you look closely into it, you can kind of see faces and weird things in okay. it, but they're very faint. Nice. It just creates this glowing aura around hmm. Elias. Okay. Makes him a little bit tougher. It's their turn. So, uh, two of them, uh, one stunned. Mm-hmm. They're recovering as they hit the wall. The male is going to run up to you, Adam, try and hit you. Okay. Uh, uh, eight. <laughs> nope. For your parry. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Uh, they move to punch you, and you effortlessly dodge out. Mm-hmm. Um, You're too slow. Scoots with these. <laughs> yeah. The one that you pulled Cam away mm. from is going to reach into their back pocket and pull out a throwing knife. Mm. Chuck it at you, Elias. So this is doing for your dodge. Uh, 13 for your dodge. Uh, nope. Okay. The, the <laughs> knife swirls in the air um, and doesn't even... It looks like it would be a bullseye right for your forehead yeah. and the shield just... Repels it away. Nice. And uh, the one at V is dazed, but can still attack. Mm. Uh, It's going to attack the stunned V. Okay. Let me see what stun does real quick to your defenses. Cannot take that. Nothing. Okay. They rolled a two. So down to a seven. So, uh... Narrate it, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the sonic boom that occurred before sort of it makes their ears ring, and their equilibrium gets thrown off and goes to swipe at V and, and misses. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Adam. Okay. Uh, I assume these aren't considered minions. Uh, you don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to have Mercury use assessment. Okay. So you must do an insight roll against their deception. Uh, is it Mercury's insight or is it mine? Mercury's, technically. Solid point. Okay. I guess I could substitute it for yours. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's the same anyway. Mm. Yeah, it's the same anyway, so. Uh, 17. 17? Yeah. Okay. Um, they rolled a nat 20. Oh, oh my god. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it is really difficult to get a read on these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, you cannot see any facet about them aside from just their general physical shape. Okay. Um, you do understand that the moves that they're performing are trained mm-hmm. and uh, deliberate. Okay. All right. All right. That was a free uh, action. That's a free action to do that. Yep. So I'm going to I'm gonna move up to the one that is trying to hit V. Okay. Since I can tell she's not looking hot. Um, and I'm just going to. I'm gonna rapid strike it. Okay. I'm gonna run right up to it and just like, just in the side, just like. All right, roll the hit. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That mm-hmm. hits. Um, they are minions. Okay. So you strike against their side. Yeah. And um, they drop their their uh their butterfly uh, knife and crumble to the ground. Okay. As these rapid. Doesn't even register the pain, mm-hmm. just the unconsciousness as it goes. <laughs> with, with, with the last hit, just for flavor, I want to like, I want to like hit it so hard, it just kind of like flies down the alley. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me see the corkscrew fall, like DBZ style. Yeah. You see Cedric uh, get up, and he checks the alley. You guys left, and in uh-huh. the opposite alley, at the other end of the building, you just yeah. <laughs> <Right down>. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Yeah, nice. Okay. okay. Um. My turn. Try. You want to try takedown ability? I would use my action to rapid strike. Got it. Oh, right, right. Okay. Your turn, Elias. Uh, how many are left in the field? The, three. Uh, there are three still. So, yep. There's one that held Cam, mm-hmm. uh, and then the two that he that are in the alley closest to you now. Mm. Uh, one of them just recovered from being stunned. Okay. Um, the one that's just recovering now. Um, 
as he's getting up, and I'm just kind of like scoot camp back and be like, hey, check this out. And I want to death stare this guy. Okay. And like stun him in place if possible. We'll save, right? Uh, yeah. Nat one. Ooh. Wow, he is paralyzed. Yeah. So now. <laughs> like, just to help being stunned, like. And you see this, this person just. Now I want to use extra effort and punch him in the face. Okay. <laughs> Roll a melee hit. Uh, uh he's paralyzed. Plus, uh, a 12. Defenseless, immobile, physically stunned. Yeah, no, you definitely hit. <laughs> the punch a paralyzed guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tough nose. What's your melee damage? Uh, four. Or total, it's uh, 12, I mean. Oh, oh uh, they failed, so you... K.O. <laughs> you knocked this person out. They had no chance to... Couldn't even raise their ha hands. Um, they I could see it, it coming more and often. Just, awesome. Yeah, you just clock them right I'm, like, trying not to kill, so I'm, like, <laughs> using non-lethal. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stun everybody. Right. Anything else? Um, that's it. Okay. And I guess turn to face the other one. Okay. Yep. Uh, their turn. So one of them is going to, uh... look at the two of you uh, and start backing away mm -hmm. the one that was closest and meet up with the other one they're going to look at each other and the uh, the other one's going to raise uh, something in their hand mm -hmm. you see it's a sort of glass orb and you see from the alleyway where the, where you hit that person out mm -hmm. and the person crumbled right before Elias they their bodies just seep into a green mist <sighs> And then move into the orb, leaving just those two. And then uh, the the other one looks, nods, takes out uh, a small sort of like cylinder object and throws it on the ground. And <laughs> smoke bomb. Yep. Oh. Smoke bomb. Just <sighs> Damn. Uh, Ultimate perception rolls. Uh, man. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Eighteens. Yeah. Yeah, I rolled 13 and I had 5. Uh, you see figures moving out of the smoke. Uh, and you also hear behind you mm -hmm. where the old man was. Um, you hear grunts and splattering. And the smoke is still there. Yeah. And uh, your turn. Uh, you can dissipate it. I, I'm gonna be like, uh, uh, check back there where the old guy was. I'm gonna follow them. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna dash towards, like, through the smoke, like, towards where okay. I think I saw them running. Yeah, you see them, you move in the direction. Um, uh, the smoke is now bleeding out of the alleyway. People have started to gather for mm -hmm. the commotion. Cedric's <laughs> yeah, <I'm> coughing up <laughs> yeah. as the smoke hits him. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, make another perception. Uh, You don't really see any sign of them. Damn it. Uh, Elias, as you turn the corner where the old man was, uh, you do not find him there, mm. nor do you find anybody there, but you do find blood, just as if someone took buckets of it and just spilled it everywhere. Holy shit. And faint green mist just dissipated. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, when I'm when I'm like in the street, I'm gonna be like, did anyone see two two people in black just like run run away from here? Did anyone see two two figures? People are confused. Ah, oh, damn. And that's the end of combat. Okay. Why can't I ever find these? Damn. There we go. <laughs> they got dying. Yeah, smoke clears. Uh, the, the rest of the band has come out now. And they're just asking what happened, all that. Cam Cam is also looking around. Cam doesn't look scared. Mm. Uh, Cam has literally seen the void, the yeah. physical embodiment of the void. Yeah. So she, you know, they don't care. Yeah. So like, they're just like, what happened? What, 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 what? What happened, Cam? Like, what the hell happened to you? Like, I don't know. You... I just came out. I was gonna take the stuff to the van. Yeah. And then you know, and... dude, jump from the roof and grab me. You jump from the roof? Yeah. Like ninjas? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna walk back into the alley and be like, ah, I couldn't find them. Shit. And then, like, turn to V, I'll be like, did you see anything else? Like, the ears raining, yeah. headache. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Gives you the so, so, sorry. Her own death glare. Sorry about that. Like, no, I have no idea what the fuck that was. First time that's ever happened. <laughs> they almost took him. Yeah, I noticed that we weren't gonna get away with it. There's an old dude in the back of the alley, and he seemed to know what was going on. Well, what the fuck? Let's go fucking talk to him. He's gone. And there's a fuck ton of blood all over the place that I think is his. I think they killed him on their way out. He knew about Florida. Yeah. Or at least how we got there. I think these guys are coming to collect Cam and bring them back. To what? To the converging expanse. Well, that isn't their home. It hasn't been for a long time. I know. Yeah. And there's no master to go back to. No, but the, the weird old guy said we smelled like the amble belt. Nah, this, this is fucked up. Yeah. So, something, I think these guys are from there. They had to be, or from somewhere, not on Earth. From the amble belt. Maybe, or maybe because we smelled like it, they could track us to find Cam. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't either. I mean, they can't be from the Amble Belt, right? That means they would have to be sent by the Magic Space Whale. Well, they, they could have come from <laughs> another they place. <laughs> they could have come from another place to the Amble Belt and then come here yeah. from the Amble Belt. That's probably what happened. So it's another... really convenient for evildoers that there's a hallway <laughs> that connects all of the universes all together. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we should really talk to but, whoever the hell this, fucking designed that. This doesn't make sense because the Converging Expanse that Jackie was tied to there yeah. because of the Dark Entity. Right. But now some other universe or place ha wants has beef with us? Like, what? what is... We're not tied to it. We're not tied to another place, a third place. They kind of are. Just by being you involved. Are. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tied to another planet. <laughs> and you're tied to another place. I'm tied to another place because I, of I'm local. You're scenic. <laughs> and we we all have ties that are not on Earth. Yeah, that's true. But. Cam spent time in the Converging Expanse, so I think maybe they're coming for them from there. Maybe to, I don't know, maybe like, just because we took out the Entity doesn't mean that like we didn't take out like all his lackeys. Wait, right? What if, what if because we took out the Entity? I mean, does that make us like God Slayers now? Maybe that, like, threw off the balance of something. Don't give him more of an ego than he already fucking has, <laughs> no, Adam. No, that's not, no, I'm not, I'm just saying maybe because we did something so big, there, there's now, like, some type of group that recognizes us and wants to have us for some reason. Why not go after you? I mean, technically, Cam's the most powerful one of us. No, not anymore. Well, I, uh, I am the judge. And, and what's, what's the verdict? The verdict is that <laughs> they almost kidnapped the most powerful one out of all of us. V throws a bottle at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey! Uh, Cam yeah. doesn't have those powers anymore. It's, or it's, it looks it, over to Cam. Yeah. Cam says, I mean, no, not really. It's like uh, a smidge. Uh, yeah. Like, really? Yeah. They, I mean, like, we um, haven't really used them. They flick and you see a little green flame. Yeah. Just, and then it's gone. Damn. Shit. Well, it's probably... I'm surprised I have this much. It's probably not a terrible thing. It must have been because of the entity, huh? That you had that level of strength before. That's why I had any. Hmm. I don't imagine this won't last long either. It's pretty cool that you still have some left over, though. Right? Yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean, I, 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 can, I can still, like... Uh, they slap you, Adam, mm -hmm. and then they move a little faster. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's noticeable. Mm -hmm. It is move to the other side of V, mm -hmm. and, but it's it's kind of pathetic. Mm. It's still cool though. Yeah, I mean it's still more than 
humans. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, but why? But you know, now it's gone. I have a, I have one use of it, and it's. Well, I mean, either way, um, just got to be on the lookout, I guess. Yeah. Um, keep the, cam safe. And... The rest against the wall. And she hits it. She mm. says, "God fucking damn it! I thought, thought we were done with this shit." Me too. Yeah, we're never done, unfortunately. Well, I'll have some people keeping an eye out. Yeah, don't let Cam be alone. Like, or not anymore at all. Look over to Cam. Cam nods, understanding. I mean, you guys have like a small army around you, so you should be you should be safe. Yeah, I'm sure those trained individuals will just cower at the sight of all the 10 year olds and 13 year olds around. Yeah, you can always kind of like pile on them. No stand a chance. Yeah, and you know, strength in numbers. Yeah. There's a bottle of both of you. Yeah, like, <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> I'm like, no! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Alright. And we... Camera fades out as we, um... Uh, as we fade to black. And then a green misty orb of glass takes up the frame. And we hear a, a voice as we see these long, slender fingers, the nails pointed and elongated almost an inch off Ooh. of the uh, off the tips. And we hear, ah, yes, ah, close, close, close. And we fade to black. That's where we'll end tonight's episode. The hell was that? Right? <laughs> That's some dark entity ass bitch, right? <laughs> dark entity has a like wannabe or an apprentice or something. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you again oh, for yes. the. Uh, this song is wicked cool, by the way. This mm. song right now. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, Mythos Tavern, thank you again for the rate. Yeah, thank yes. you so much. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Mm -hmm. If you were listening on Spotify, Stitcher, any of those uh, Apple Apple Podcasts, music, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. any of yeah. those. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you can rate us in any way. That would be super appreciative. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, you can find all of our social medias at Keep Tapinets. Look up Initiative, Keep Tapinets, and we will be the first ones to come up there. Pretty yes. much, yeah. And um, yeah, it's, this is the beginning of a new season. I'm very excited. Me too. This was awesome already. I'm so hooked. <laughs> I know. I love this. I love this session. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. so happy to be back in the city. Mm -hmm. It feels so us. Yeah. <laughs> it feels and, so you know, right. A lot of names are thrown out. A lot of places, events, and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, get it. It can be overwhelming. It can be tough to understand at first. Uh, like I said before, don't be frustrated. There's plenty of time. And... Uh, we hope it doesn't detract you too much from joining us in for future episodes. We're here every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's why we play some Mutants Masterminds. Yeah. yeah. And if you're if you're here on Twitch, uh, stick around. We're going to raid. Yes, we're going to raid. Do a good job. But for everybody else listening, uh, we love you and we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. right. see, see you then.